see one last time. All right, we are recording. Um, this is episode one in the process of things. Um, but yeah, we gonna go home. Oh shit. We going home? No, we're not going home. <laughs> it's okay, we're going home. We go home. No, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, say action on this, man. Let's get started. Yeah. So uh, I want everybody to just introduce themselves, kind of say your name, where you're from, we're, we're, how you're doing, yeah. how you're living. We're the oldest, the youngest. Yeah. Oldest, youngest. Oh, yeah. All right, old man. Yeah, I'm the old one. I'm the old head. I'm wise, and I'm able to, you know. Stand on my own too at 32. Uh, All right, man. They call me the chef. Chef Brock. Chef Brock is the name. Uh, it's, it's a multi two to that name. Why do they call you Chef Brock? I'm handy behind them tools with that knife in the okay. kitchen, beating them pots. All right. Uh, definitely, I've been I've been cooking for a long time. Graduated from culinary arts mm -hmm. in 2013 from Le Cordon Bleu. I can get the tag because you know what I'm saying. They're going to be taking out my check anyway. Um, oh. oh, you feel me? You don't make me got that call. <laughs> you don't make me call. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't got the diploma for it, so I got the associates, and I'm, I'm proud to say. Certified. Yeah, certified. I'm in the field. Like, can't nobody say, oh, well, why you a chef and you ain't a chef? It's like, now I can say, I've been doing this for a while. I just didn't have no trademark behind it. But yeah. Been doing this. So you, got the, you got the certification, mm -hmm. education. Can't take that away from you. Mm -hmm. So, all right, um, I guess it's my turn. Oh, got something else to add? No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay, well, my name is, uh, my full name, Donovan LaShawn Mosley II. Uh, obviously, my social media content creation name is Don LaShawn. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'm 25 years old, just turned 25. Libra. <laughs> yeah. um, Libra, Libra season, gang. you feel me? Balance it out. Um, yeah, man, so went to the University of Alabama, graduated in 2018. And moved to Atlanta, Georgia, right as the COVID pandemic hit, and uh, it was a, it was a crazy first year and a half. But blessed, had a lot of blessings during the pandemic, and that's more than a lot of people can say. Uh, a lot of people, you know, obviously went through a lot. But um, currently, I am finally in my season of pursuing production um, in the film industry. Uh, film and TV industry, as well as creating my own content uh, through YouTube or through, you know, obviously TikTok because that's the big social media right now, and uh, and uh, I might mm -hmm. I might end up putting this podcast on Spotify or you know Apple the Apple Podcast app. Um, we'll see, man. Uh, like I said, this is episode one, and the reason why I really want to start this podcast is because I'm inspired by a lot of podcasts that I've been listening to because they talk, you know, they talk, what's the word, about, like, important topics, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right, educate. Yeah, and in the season that we're in in, like, humanity and where we're going is that people like talking on social media behind their social media handles, profile pictures, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, having their own opinion, and there's like nobody ever to challenge those opinions in person, you know what I'm saying? So people have a pretty big stage to lie, spread lies, spread a lot of stuff. Or truth. Or shit. Lie. Yeah, or it's truth. Some, some but, people air people out off of just being truthful. Yeah, but in the podcast setting, we're able to like talk about these things and really talk through them, communicate through them, as well as we're able to hear more uh, inspirational stories. We're, we're able to hear more uh, just stuff to get the people like to really think about. Get the people going. Yeah, get the people, <laughs> <laughs> get the people going, man. Get just going. To get people 
just talking about things that actually matter versus stuff that's so superficial in today's uh, society. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. As far as uh, you know, where I'm at right now. So I'm passing on to our third guest. Yeah. Third right, guest, yeah. Big Dargalini. B I G D U R K A L I N I. My regular name, yeah, I, heard it. I call it my regular name. My legal name is Trey Drake. You can go Google me. I ain't got to say too much because I already said enough. But hey, me and D Mosel, I'm going to give y'all a backstory. I went to the University of Alabama in 2017. I graduated May 25th. I was in college May 28th. I was like, damn, this shit fast. Well, I ain't even enjoy myself. Like, after I graduated high school, I ain't even go to the beach, none of that shit. I was just straight in college. I'm like, fuck. I go to college, my first day, I really quit. <laughs> mm. I'm like, man, fuck this. I'm finna get up out of here. I'm like, fuck it. Then I had a friend named Donny Lee. I'll never forget this day. We coming out the field. I think we ran 110. Donny Lee told me, he said, look, the next run you fall out of, they will kick your stupid ass off the team. <laughs> mm. I never fell out another run. Two years later, I ended up transferring from the University of Alabama. And I went to a D1 AA school called Southeast Louisiana, where I graduated from. I got my bachelor's in fucking general studies. I was a psychology major, but I got my bachelor's in general studies because I had to tra- change my major because when I transferred to a smaller school, which don't make no fucking sense, they couldn't take my credits. Mm. So I was like, fuck, I had to change my whole major, but I graduated with a different major, and then I ended up transferring again. As I graduated from there, I was a graduate transfer, and I went to this school called West Illinois. Went up there, stayed for like two months. Like some shit happened. I wasn't getting paid. I was up there hustling, just trying to get them get by and meet and meet. And I ended up coming back home. And now we doing what we doing right now. It's crazy because you move around like how we moved around in the army. Yeah. <laughs> and I just be by myself every while I go. They be they be the crazy. I be like fuck. I gotta go all these new places by myself. My family don't even get to go with me and see new shit. But like it's crazy. I'm I'm doing this and I never seen shit like this growing up. You seen places that I haven't seen yet. And I am. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I really ain't never had nobody take me there. I had to take myself there while I went. I yeah. look up to that. Like, I appreciate yeah, definitely. It, and he's the youngest one. I'm yeah. 22. Doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Out Ten here. Eight years over. <laughs> yeah. Eight years older. So, I don't know if you already mentioned this, but uh, Broderick, Chef Brox, uh, it's my big brother. Right. Um, big brother. So, you know, obviously known each other for a very very long time yeah for an hour um, and he remembers me in he he like has more memories of me than probably anybody that will ever watch this yeah. uh because it's physically impossible to do so you know what i'm saying so uh obviously from when i had a big bobble i already got a bit you know what i'm saying god really blessed me with a big forehead yeah um, yeah he- yeah. He grew. Your body grew. He grew right with it, though. Yeah, he, but... You know, he, he, he said he got muscles, though. He, he got muscles, Hey, man. but Broderick remembers me from when I was, like, the Q-tip. little the little dude, Q-tip. man. The little dude. Yeah. Q-tip, yeah. Q-tip. <laughs> the afro. Yeah. Skinny. Yeah, man. Little. And, and, head. and look, I remember Broderick... Uh, Stupid fat. Yeah, he, nah. <laughs> he, he wasn't, Roger wasn't fat, man. I just remember, like, bro, I remember when bro had his first kid. I remember when he had his first job. Yeah. I remember, well, his first, you know, I don't know, Subway was your first job, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Subway, I remember them days, man, whenever he was in, in high school at Roosevelt in San Antonio, Texas, at uh, Carroll City High School in <laughs> In uh, sure. Miami, Miami, Florida. Just thinking about Miami, what you said with the credits. Where y'all, where y'all, what, 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 what county y'all boys stayed in again? In Miami? Uh-huh. Uh, in Opelika. Op- y'all boys stayed in the trenches. Y'all was in Opelika. Yeah, yeah we, was, oh, we was there yeah. for real. Like, I remember D getting in fights in school. Yeah, man. In the middle of Carroll City type shit. Like, yeah, man. People chasing him. People <laughs> really be trying the light skins, man. <laughs> they are really like, trying to. What? I'm like, what the fuck going on? Hold on, all right, hold on. So you gotta you gotta tell whatever fight story that you remember from uh, whenever I was in elementary. Just every detail, don't hold nothing back. I want you to go all in. Um, I mean, D don't really fight too much. That's the crazy part. It's just like, who wanna fight him? I don't. Who wants to fight? That's what I'm saying. But in like in Miami, people gonna try you for being light skinned or for being. Hispanic and black, or just 
dating a Hispanic, like all that, like, and in your mentality, like I, we was green, we was straight from Texas, like. They was like, yo, let me get a goat. Like, we like, <laughs> you remember? Yeah, you remember? man. Whoa. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what the fuck yo, is that? I'm Haitian. Like, <laughs> like, what is a goat? A dollar, fool, a dollar. Like, you like, a goat. What? Like, you talking about a real goat? goat. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Man. Oh. Just like, yeah, that's it. So, transitioning from all of that and then seeing D, it was always been older than me and always been the one to get in trouble or get in fights so i don't never i haven't seen him outside of the house like i wasn't in elementary school with yeah. him for to know what the situation was but i pull up at my hyundai my dad and my stepmom roger and susie send me to go pick up uh d and Derek, uh, was Derek with me? I, I think, think we so. Have got him after. I don't, yeah, I don't right, think so. Yeah, we got him after. All right, so this is how it goes. I'm in high school. He's in elementary, and uh, uh, Derek's in, in middle school. Well, I was spread around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he had it was. That's what's crazy, cause like you know, that's how my pattern is with my kids. Mm -hmm. Anthony is fourteen, Layla ten, and yeah, Bryce. Yeah, Bryce. So he's in elementary, like Layla about to be in middle school. That's crazy. Like, now he's repeating stuff. Didn't think of it when. Damn, I have never thought of that either. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't That's like. Crazy. I look at myself and I'll be like, damn, I'm, this man pretty much reincarnated like same person. Same person, <laughs> but I'm a perfectionist. Like you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like. Yeah. I try to do better than what I seen what already. Saw. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh wait, I mean that's the goal. Yeah. For sure. But um, that goes to show, um, like with the credits thing, I was just like, I had like ninth and tenth grade classes. Mm -hmm. So like, that shit kind of messed with my path of like going through being a senior and going to prom. I never got to see prom. I don't know what prom is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's wild. And yeah. I was working since I was like fifteen, like mm -hmm. and I just be like, damn, like what's a what's a regular what's a like what's a young person life at twenty two and stuff and I that's why I be looking up with y'all like mm -hmm. that whole at the house. Like you know what I'm saying, like your ass is you blowing up before you know it, like bro, you know like, and it's just like bro, like we all got to live our separate lives. And I'll be like, damn, like, we all, it's coming together. Mm -hmm. I just want to yeah. see it, like. Manifest. It, yeah. Manifest. Yeah. We're already in it, but we, we could get even more. Exactly. We were just talking about that today. Or yesterday, something like that. We got our track. We yeah. high as fuck. We is. You ain't even got them tell us about the fight. Which fight? <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so he told me, yeah, yeah, I'm, this shit hit. Bro, hey, wait, listen, wait, 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 it's a podcast, bro. Wait, the yeah. conversation goes left, it goes left. Wait, 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 <laughs> that went all the way left and came back around. Yeah, had to come back, had to bring bro, you back. Had it's to coming back. Hey. Stone like Nick hey, he <laughs> talking about them white Russians. Nothing in goddamn buck. Woo. <laughs> yeah, um, so I pulled up, and I'm looking for D, and the next thing you know, like the... It's a gate right there when you pull up uh -huh. mm -hmm. that you got to walk through. And then I see D running out the front door. And he's, like, going around the building. And then I see three kids, like, one tall and two short ones, like, running after him. Like, I'm just like, this is what the hell going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the hell is going on? He just pulled and, up. Yeah. So they, they're literally all tussling and stuff. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, I'm having to pull off. Like a couple kids, and I'm like, yo, what's, what the hell going on? Took off. I, I can't remember no more than that because I was just like. I remember. So yeah. I'm going to tell it from my. Yeah. From, all right, I'm going to tell it from my uh, uh, perspective. So. Your POV. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to rewind to the prior day. 
uh, me and one of my good friends, man, his name was Kiandi mm. or something like Kiande, Kiandi, something like that. And uh, we were just playing outside. School just let out. And I had picked him up for some reason and was just basically carrying him, like, on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And some dude, I had no idea who he was, came and just pushed it on the floor, bro. For both no reason. Us. Yeah, both of us. Like, okay. While he was in the air, so okay. he fell on the ground. And then, so we just started yelling. like, we're going to get you tomorrow. We're going to get you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so it up. And so the next day, the whole day, we were just talking about, all right, so what are we going to do? How are we going to get him? <laughs> and so we like, every time we saw him in the hallway, going to lunch, coming back. Yeah, huh? Boy, oh, I got that set up an ambush <laughs> after school. We got an ambush on the way. You know, in, Mi- in Miami, though, it is. Man, yeah. But it, it was crazy. But <laughs> so, all right, so like, we just saw him, you know, just giving them mean bugs or whatever. So, anyway, school lets out and we see him. And we push him up against the fence. And all I remember was my friend, uh, Kiandi. Just started punching him in the face. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Like over and over again. I'm just like, oh. He got lost. Because you know me, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, well, I don't know what we finna do, but we just gonna at least, I don't yeah, know. You just wanna shake him up. You yeah, yeah, him up. bro. Fuck my friend Keanu just started oh, going yeah. in. He's dropping a bomb. Yes. And so I just remember he had dropped and uh, he was on the floor. And then I think, no, no, no. Yeah, we, we had like, he had grabbed me or something like that, and I think that's when Broderick pulled up. Yeah. And then, so he saw me. He saw us on the floor tussling, like he yeah. said. And, uh, yeah, Broderick got him off. And, man, I just remember the whole school was lined up. He had the fourth graders, the fifth graders. Yeah, so Bro, many I'm, little kids. I'm in third grade. <laughs> Bro, you had the first graders, like, ooh, ooh. And then everybody got different color uniforms, so it yeah. was just like orange, white, blue, 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 like getting it on like this. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's basically it. A little bit happened after that, but just know that's pretty much the climax of the, of yeah. the story. So. That's it, funny. Yeah, That's it, funny as fuck. Bro, Miami, Florida. Was cool. It's different. Somebody pulled out a stick on me. Like that was the first time I seen an AK forty seven, and it was I was just trying to get a line up from the Spanish dude. He lived in the apartments across the street from um, the original Carroll City High School. Mm-hmm. They call them APTs. Me being from Texas and, and like oh shit, like I will see your headline, I'll be like damn, bro, who did that shit? I do that, like, like, you do lineups? Yeah. How much you charge? Seven dollars. I'm working at Subway, too. I'm about to get fresh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sell Sell a little Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, get them in there. Man, I'm walking through the uh, neighborhood, and I hear somebody say, hey, who you with? I, I, like, I ain't. Yeah, cause I, I keep on keeping pushing. Yeah, I ain't heard none of that. Like, like, say, Bone say that he gonna fuck with me. <laughs> Lord, Ooh, he cranking the truck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was walking on foot. He cranking the truck up. Who had the goddamn stick with the wood part and the got the long rifle one? Yeah, oh, yeah. Just not like, the little AK seventy yeah, four on not, Call yeah, of Duty. Yeah, <laughs> big thing. I'm just just Man. like. That boy got artillery. <laughs> I'm just like, whoa, like, I was like, yo, I'm just trying to get lined up, bro. He was like, no, who you is? Yeah. So, luckily, being who I am, I'm usually the person I would say what's up to anybody. Yeah. Like, I, I always grew up around older folks, and they always be like, you better, you better uh, acknowledge people around you. Yeah. Man, who they are, like, even like, hell, I still got Jay's at 10, huh? Yeah, out of respect. Yeah, but we got a Jay, Uncle, and Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> um, cause they really are they around our Auntie and Uncle's age. Yeah, like they was doing half of this shit or more of what we doing plus more. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, back in the month. Everything day. is always in full circle. Like the apple don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. So like, what what your folk did, you liable to do. Yeah, and that's your life. It ain't like, like that shit just happened. Mm-hmm. Facts. Mm. It's just crazy how how rude. Like 
I'm just looking at like these flags, and then it's just it, it just brings me back to like you know, different yeah origins. It was like, a different life. Yeah, like in Texas, it's different. Than yeah, living out here. Especially San Antonio. What? It's different from Houston and Dallas and Austin. It was raining and somebody was like, the sewage system, like, it's, I'm glad that the water is going down in the drain. I was like, in Texas, they ain't even had no drain system. It was floods and shit. We, we used to lay in the water and shit. <laughs> I remember, bro, yeah. I remember there was a bad flood. Yeah, always. But it was like really bad. I forgot, I was young. Yeah. I was young. Always. I remember that. Jeez, man. San Antonio was, it was cool. And uh, like you said, just way different from Atlanta. A lot of Mexicans, man. Mm-hmm. You still love Mexicans here? Yeah. I love Mexicans, man. Mexicans like black people. Yeah. Same, same people, yeah. Just a different language. Yeah, just a different language. Yeah, yeah we both talk slang like a motherfucker. Everything gonna go. <laughs> Everything gonna go. in the kitchen. What? Motherfucker yeah. going crazy in that kitchen, literally. Yeah. They got their Mexican foods and like soul food. Right. <laughs> you know how blessed I feel whenever I'm like, I could say I'm, I could like eat Mexican food from my mom and then, you know, chill with my black friends, my black family, and they cooking soul food. And yeah. I just get to have the best That's of both worlds. World. Right? Literally, like, literally. Like, like homemade know. tortillas, hand, like hand fried chicken. What? Chick, Come like, on. Now, what? Now, like, man. Like, man. Enchiladas, bro. My mom's enchiladas they ain't normal, man. They she makes them. She makes them with like this green, uh, this green, sauce. yeah, yeah. Some what's it called? Fried egg sauce. Yeah, and man, got the uh, chicken in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of cheese, man. A lot of cheese. What about the motherfucking slushes? The huh? Oh my, uh, auntie, yeah, my aunt auntie. Esther, bro. Oh, you talking about my aunt Esther? What? Yeah, my aunt Esther. She got a, she got like her own shop, like the uh, Mexican hole in the walls that sell all the Mexican candy, the slushies, the uh, the oh, raspas. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, um, I, ain't, I ain't never had no slushies with seasons on it. That man, that had some seasons on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. had some seasons on it. I'm like, oh, wait. It's a, a lot of crazy uh, Mexican stuff, man. Yeah. Is grandpa still at the um, flea market and stuff? No, man. My grandma and my grandpa, so they're originally from Mexico. Mm-hmm. They probably moved to the United States in like the 70s or 80s. Mm-hmm. Uh, Good people. Yeah, yeah. man. I yeah. love them, so I miss them every, every day. They still alive. Thank God. Thank yeah. God. Thank God. Um, still the same. Like The same, They man. always literally, like, every time we go there, it's... Same feel, and, and, and they're gonna, yeah. they gonna put you down in Spanish, yeah. Yes. And then the only thing you probably gonna hear that English is God bless you, yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing you hear English is God bless you, or bye, or, or, or hi. Hey, 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 I'll tell yeah. you how fat you get. <laughs> they always <laughs> tell, Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, they uh, they true Mexicans, uh, like from, from Mexico, um, and man, the, like, like Broderick said. Uh, the flea market. I remember it from my childhood. The flea market. Bro. We went there every single weekend, <laughs> at least two of the days, like either Friday and Saturday or Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Man, after church yeah. or before bro, church. The yeah. flea market, bro, we would wake up like super early, bro. It was, it was I, 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 had a flea market day. But you gotta yeah. get up early because you, you gotta be the rush. Set up. Yeah. You gotta be directed, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. that's trying to grab all the good shit early. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah man. Set up. Real humble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like from, and but, it's just, it's, it really feels like a Mexican feel, like, like a, like you could really, I mean, even in, from Texas to Miami flea market, Carol Mart. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that. It yeah. was, it, this was the inside of pretty much what was outside in Texas. Yeah. Like I bought, um, mixtapes from, uh, I remember a little flip. The game over. Yeah, game remember over. that. Man, I got that at the at the flea market with some shades and everything. <laughs> well, we was in that <laughs> like Alex was bumping that shit. We was in that expedition, like yeah. yeah. I was putting them on that flavor, they, man. Yeah, I remember the Carol Mart. That's like a really famous flea market. They tore it down, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah, it's I like got top. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny top me for a good Hey, man, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, man, man. What was her name? Jelly? No, Jenny? No, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We got to be that. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we live. We li- literally live like five minutes away. I remember mm-hmm. from Carol Mart. Yo, that's how deep off in there we were. Oh well, yeah, one eighty third. One eighty third was the main street for everything like flea market, food, mm-hmm. um, haircuts. Yeah. I, I met DMX on that same strip. I remember, bro, I, at the store. Yeah. Bro, we met DMX, bro. <laughs> well, I did it. My dad, I remember my dad, dad was like, welcome to Miami. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, yeah, I'm sure. dad did. is like that, bro. I was like, yeah. yeah. He did oh. that shit in Rhode Island. I was like, bro, you acting like a tourist. <laughs> he was Man. like, oh, do y'all sell meat in here? He was like, <laughs> I was like, Man, what drugs are you on? I want to pop one. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. Cops be on the robotic type shit. I'll be like, man, what the fuck? Bro, I'm pretty bro. sure DMA's been to Miami before. Bro, he was walking down the street like a regular guy, like, for real, like, walking. Bro, rest in peace, DMX, man. For real. Rest in peace, DMX, but y'all pop one <laughs> We're bro, we were like in Publix or something. Yeah. Right? Publix yeah. or like the store. I remember. No, it was uh what was hold on. When Dixie? Was it Publix? Could have been Win Dixie. It probably was. I know it was in Walmart. You mean <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, we oh, got. So much to tell about your dad to beat niggas up in the Walmart. Man. man. Walmart. Walmart. Okay, okay, okay. Everywhere, so this is Miami, everywhere. Florida, Walmart. Walmart. Uh, Texas, Walmart. <laughs> the Texas, Walmart. The fucking the, the interstate. Two of them. The interstate. Oh, my God. We got the car, got the air. Whoop. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. The so, man, the man, daddy whipping ass on all. We, all right, of hold clothes. on. Let's, all right, so we talking about my dad, right? We gonna we gonna really give a whole image of our dad. Yeah. So our dad, uh, real hard nosed, disciplined, um, military vet. Military vet. Yeah, man. He served 20, 20, 20 plus years, years, twenty plus years in the military. Got the Silver Star. Got Purple the Medal Heart. of Honor, Purple Heart. I mean, not Medal of Honor. I'm sorry. Purple Heart. That's what I meant. Yeah. Silver Star, Purple Heart. Um, a lot of awards. Met the president for his actions. That's how you was able to go to Alabama. GI yeah, Bill. the GI Bill. Uh, he has 100% disability. Um, that's how my school is paid for at the University of Alabama because he's from originally from Montgomery, uh, Alabama. Uh, but, yeah, that's who raised us, man. A real. Oh, and also, growing up, Everybody said he looks like The, the Rock. Rock. You remember what you like The Rock, man? The yeah. Rock, yeah. Literally. So. They still be like, you, your dad's so handsome. <laughs> like, man, that yeah. shit was weird as hell. It was recent, and this lady was on pop. <laughs> Oh, just oh you can't say too much, man. Yeah, I'm just go back to the yeah, yeah. store. We're going to the store about him with an ass. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah so, yeah. all right. So, um, dad, yeah, Walmart. yeah, yeah. So, what, Miami? I don't remember the, I don't remember the Texas one, but. Uh, the, the, one, the one where Susan had to pull it back. Fire, fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one where, all right, I know for sure. Me, you, and our uh, other brother, Derek. Yeah. Uh, my little brother, Eric, because he was a newborn. Mm. And then my mom and my dad. Uh, we were at Walmart. <laughs> uh, it was night time. Yeah. Uh, we were checking out in line. We got out the expedition and got in there and yeah, it was that it was the Mexican dude, right? Uh, yeah. Were we inside the store already? Yeah. Yeah. When we we're checking out. Yeah. 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 All right. The Mexican dude, the yeah. the Hispanic dude. I, I don't know what he was. Yeah. He was yeah. Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah. Hispanic. Yeah. So I'm yeah. Right, take over. Yeah. Take over. All right. So we was grocery shopping. I, I still don't know what was going on with, with Dad. Like I know he was mad. Yeah. All right. So we, 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 was, we was all shopping together, and we kind of broke. Like, me, Derek, and Dee broke off for a bit. Yup. And we was going to get, like, just separate snacks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we got back with uh, Dad and Susie and Eric because Eric was still – Little enough to ride in the little baby yeah. basket. That was a newborn. Yeah, so. Dude, it was a guy with his wife or girlfriend or whatever, and he was, we was in line, and it was, 
Wal you know how Walmart is. It's never enough people working there. So yeah, it's just like, fuck, we got to wait in line. So we're waiting, and we're just like, you know. <laughs> Our dad got a, our dad got a short temper. Yeah. Oh man, we do like please don't he, make him snap. If you were to see him, like, like you know how people are, look, like how we are high and our eyes be red, like yeah. we look tired and we might look back. And, that like that's 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 it right there. That's the trick. Yeah, you know, set him out. Like, you know, set him out. Like, what yeah. this motherfucker looking at? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, damn, that nigga look like the rock in your head, but you ain't said it. <laughs> and he you just think he just stuck. Like, damn, you, you looking at me too hard, bro. I'll be like, whoa. Whoa. So, bro, whoa, so that's right. exactly what happened. He looked back. Dad looked back and he, he was like, you see how that motherfucker looked like? It was just like, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, yeah, what's going on? What happened? He was like, and, and dude was like, he was like, what's up? What you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, what y'all got to say? Yeah. And then next thing you know, it was just like two boots just broke out. Like, he was choking the man up, and it was all over the register and shit. Like, Boom! Then bro, I, know, listen, the can, I just remember the bro, candy, bro. candy bro. everything. That's not every, every, like, all the product, bro. bro on the if floor. I was a real jug season type dude. I would have been had all the M&M's and Y'all got sneakers. me crying this bit, bro. I'm trying my best to get my son to kill. The Kit-Kats, the Snickers, the Everything. Skittles, the, Twizzlers, the chips, boy, all M&M's. on the floor, bro. Beef jerky. All that was on the floor, bro. Man, listen, That's the scene we're painting for you. His mom was just like, bro. oh, my God, shut up. Oh, 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 what what, 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 what's the name? What's the name? Uh, when he said, first time, I'm going to beat you to candy. Come out. I'm going to beat you to candy. Bro, it carried all on the floor. He whipping ass. He that big guy got yeah. by his neck yeah. like this. Yeah. Come yeah. here, squeezing that man's <laughs> neck. Yeah. Our dad took all the I ain't never seen room. nobody grow so high up in the air though. When they when they slammed into each other, yeah, it was just like, boom, <laughs> and they both. Were just, it was really like on some WWE <laughs> type of real. Oh shit! Like, what Whoa. the hell? And it's just crazy to see that we see that more like we've seen that for years. More, yeah. Man. Yeah, for years. That's man. our norm. Like we yeah, like normal. Malcolm in the middle of real life. Bro, bro, like, bro, bro, like the shit be so normal when he come here when he came here we moved in type shit. Yeah. The shit like I'm in the wood with y'all, he got them still the same nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, we yeah. Ride, we in Atlanta trying to get in the way, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> He blew on a horn nigga. Oh. He blew on a horn that nigga, nigga pulled up on him. He said, what you looking at for? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. Know, like, he said, bro, nigga pulled up beside him looking at him. He said, what you looking at for, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> it's Atlanta, I'm bro. Like, bro, like, god damn, Paul. Like, what the fuck going on, man? <laughs> bro, like, you been getting all of us shot, shot at, Shot the fuck up, bro. Like, but, and I'm just like, bro. All right, yeah. But, all right. So, yeah. our, all right. So that story about the Walmart fight, this was 2005, 2006, something yes, like that, around there. Like uh, so that was 15, 16 years ago. Yeah, man. long ass time ago. He's still the same. I was, I'm 25 right now, so I was not even 10 years old yet. Yeah. Bro. I'm nine, eight, yeah. nine, something like that. Broderick is in his you said teens. Yeah, yeah, I was kicking ass machine. Yeah. You like the motherfucking, uh, you what, what the, Broderick 16, what? Broderick was 16. What about, yeah, what, what the little blue robot, the blue and red robot called? Soccer, Soccer box. box. <laughs> yeah, Soccer box. That, that, that's exactly how that is. <laughs> So 16 years yeah. later, dad's pretty much still the same. same. Man, you would get your ass choked out, kicked across the head, all type of Man. shit. Man. Dad was in his 30s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was, And speaking of that, I almost got into me being, yes, in the freezer, man. People hating on me just being me. You can yeah. fight in the freezer. Man, three niggas tried to jump me, man. Listen, I... Damn. And it mentally kind of messed with me to where I'm bringing shank to the work. Like y'all, y'all, y'all come look, real. y'all, y'all jump on me. Y'all Man. once that once you touch that freezer, right. sir, he's gonna be fruit punch right. all over. Right. Right. Like, oh my what, god! What, 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 what's uh, what's what, 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 Little man complex, and mm-hmm. he that also shit, see. Killer. All right, I have my own um, schedule. Like I, I wrote down my availability because I have two jobs, you know. And uh, 
I come in at four, but they come in at two. But they want to milk the clock to where they can get overtime and all that. But when we coming in, I'm working at the pace that I learned how to work with your high quality, like yeah, efficient, fast, and you know, yeah, organized. Yeah. Hey man, you you can you can slow down, bro. Bro, like, I hate yeah. people like that. Slow down. I don't hate the people, but I hate those qualities. That, yeah, it's like, bro. You ain't got the same work at me, so you move the fuck around. Yeah. Sorry, man, move the fuck around. All right, so that's the thing. Instead of moving the fuck around, he's literally, I'm trying to work. I got all my music. I'm listening to, like, 21 Savage type <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm shit. Yeah, and goddamn, I'm picking, and I, I look at my shit while I'm working. Like, I'll be like, oh, uh, Cookie Brownies. Cookie Brownies put it on. Da, da. There's a dude, cart about this big. He's pushing it and he's looking at the labels while I'm right behind him, like just waiting. Mm-hmm. And he, was, he looked back and he was like, <laughs> I was like, so I pushed his cart. I was like, bro. Man, get the fuck out my way, bro. Like, you want yeah. some bullshit. Like, you've been doing that shit all night. He was like, why every time you come around me, you got something to fucking say? I was like, I was like, little fuck, nigga. I, I, I'm talking yeah. to you, bro. Like, you in my way, bro. Like, what the fuck you giving me a hard time for? It? Like, yeah. he was like, he was like, Fuck you, like, y'all niggas really be having, like, a, like, a, like, this shit, like, yeah, like come, high school. Like, comic book lifestyle. Like, like high school. Like, this shit, yeah. like, a movie right And it's like, crazy. It it's like, just to see it grown is. folks still doing that shit. Bro. I know you seen it at Amazon. At Amazon. Yeah. yeah, yeah motherfucker slap your head off your head. Listen. Come on. What the fuck wrong with you starting crazy with me? This a prank. Prank, prank, get your ass shot the fuck up in the parking lot. Man. That shit, like, man. I was just like What what uh was this recently? Yes. Lord. Man, yes. man, man. Atlanta warehouses, let me tell you. Um the place you want to be. No. It's like loving hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> Real life. Atlanta warehouses got a lot of drama. Yeah. I'm a, all right, so Brody talking about warehouse experiences. Like you said, I used to work at Amazon. Um he was manager, manager, yeah, I was manager. A, I was, so he had to nah, solve that type of shit. I was an area manager. For the biggest company in the world, in the world, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. So you already know how that's gonna go. Um, I started when the COVID pandemic hits. Um, it's really what brought me to Atlanta. Uh, they paid for my relocation from San Antonio, uh, and really gave me the ability to get into a home, into a house, uh, and paid my bills. Uh, where rent was fifteen hundred dollars a mm-hmm. month, it's so like yeah, Uncle Sam, this bitch. yeah, as much as much as I yeah, fifteen hundred yeah. yeah. Look, you come to Atlanta, you either gonna you gonna shrink or you gonna grow. Boy, yeah. <laughs> you either gonna yeah. go below your money, you gonna below. maximize or minimize, and you gonna be synthesized and all that, <laughs> exercise yeah. and exercise and all that other yeah. good stuff. So, I mean, as much as my experience at Amazon kind of left me just hurting and you know whatever, whatever. Uh, I can say that it has blessed me with what I have today. Not the job, but what I was able to do while at that job. Mm -hmm. So, actually, me and Trey were listening to another podcast today with Kevin Hart talking. And he was like, look, if you're in a job that you hate, and you're just going in every day saying, I hate this job, I hate this job, whatever, whatever. Then you're not really preparing yourself to get out of that job. You're really just sitting in there. Stagnant. You know, stagnant. I hate this job. And you don't go in the next day. I hate this job. You don't go in the next day. I hate this job. No, you ain't no. ever. And then you coming home, like, just chilling, probably watching TV. Or even if you, they got wives. It's people that have wives that are miserable still. Yeah, miserable and they're with their wives, the the job. They're not following their real dreams. Yeah, yeah, their real dreams and passions and they're letting the years go by, right? So, I, um... Hold on, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, how you was at uh, manager at Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, uh, <laughs> man- <laughs> no, bro. I'm talking about, uh, look, I knew, I knew about Amazon. I knew about Amazon. I'm talking about where in my Amazon experience. Oh, with, with people. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. I remember. People, yeah. So, like, 
yeah, as much as it really, <laughs> as much as it really like, like disturbed my spirit working there, it really like blessed me with a lot. And uh, I didn't, I didn't want to have that. I hate this job mentality because it's so easy to fall into that trap. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to, especially towards the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm working towards something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to get out of this job to really pursue my passions, and that's what I really used Amazon for. To be honest with you, I move. I used it to move from San Antonio to Atlanta because I wanted to pursue a, a career in production and I had this plan in my mind before I even signed my papers with Amazon I'm like this is only going to be temporary I don't plan on doing this my entire life Mm -hmm. and like to be completely honest with you I remember I was in Nashville Tennessee uh, doing my orientation for uh, the manager position whatever area manager they had brought in a, a bunch of area managers from all over the country from Seattle all the way to Miami like everywhere Mm, and yeah and this was like a week prior to when the country uh, shut down for COVID Mm. Uh, and I remember sitting in the hotel room that they had me in in Nashville signing my papers and stuff and I remember I just broke down and started crying because I'm like I feel like I'm signing my life away Mm -hmm. because I just I had lost I had for a second lost the the vision I had you know what I'm saying? So I obviously, I obviously knew that I wasn't gonna spend like my like my whole life working at Amazon. You know right. what I'm saying? Like a lot of people think that's like the best job to have because of the stocks, right? Because of the stability. Like you yeah, know, nice. Amazon's gonna be there. Amazon's never gonna die. Yeah, the benefits, the um, opportunity it's to just grow. Just like Coca Cola and yeah, all the other yeah, big yeah. name companies. Yeah, and. You know, I worked for all of those too. Yeah, yeah, like all the all the like the Fortune five hundred companies, especially here in Atlanta. Like, like you said, Coke, uh, Chick fil A, um, yeah. all like the big corporations. Like Amazon, obviously, is one of those, um, and they got Walmart. a big presence in in Atlanta because it's one of the biggest cities in America. Um, but yeah, man, I remember just signing those papers and just thinking to myself, "What am I doing with my life?" Like, man, I just don't want to be doing this. That's all I know. Um, so when I left in, uh, what, March? March, April. Mar- oh, April. It was like April of 2021 of this year. Um, I was just sitting there like, it's time. The time has finally come. Right, it's like, yeah, it, it's like it's, it was a year and a half in the making, man. And I'm like, I'm finally coming back. And so, uh, I left. I resigned. Retire early. Yeah, I, I resigned mean. from, and I actually, it's funny. I actually had just got promoted from an L four area manager to an L five, which, <laughs> which is, uh, what is it? It's like one one level away from operations manager, mm-hmm. and they're about to pay me a pretty decent salary, you know. Obviously not enough. It wasn't enough. That's all it was at the end of the day. Like we moving up, but at the same time, it ain't enough because our vision is way bigger than what other people's vision is for us. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it's not enough for the amount of work Literally, that like, they putting on you. Really, like y'all been a bit slaving on your pay niggas and dying for work. Yeah. Doing. Yeah. And that's not to talk bad about Amazon. It's just my own personal, personal, personal level. Like if you if that's something that you really want to do, then do it. I don't I'm not judging against that at all. Not, like, knocking, not knocking it at all, but that's not what we want yeah. to do. Right. Because just, there's people that live off of that too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different and, paths. And they, and they make a yeah. good living off of it. Like but everybody got different paths and we so young. So like why yeah. why we settle for that when we got so much other shit going on right now. You gotta think about the cryptocurrency and all the other different shit that's going yeah. on for people that's our age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and I mean you could be an area manager at Amazon and have the best setup. You know what I'm saying? You could just be chilling everything's handed to you all of that like that's respectable but for me it just i already went into went in with the mentality that i'm gonna leave so that's what kind of makes me different towards my perception of amazon specifically like i'm sure it's a, a great company mm-hmm. like i said i have no distaste towards it i did when i first left but as time has gone on i i realized how much it really blessed me yeah. especially um through the covid pandemic because amazon just 
grew so much during COVID mm -hmm. and I was working during COVID the entire time. And a lot of people, you know, lost their jobs, got laid off because uh, companies started uh, closing down because of mm -hmm. the pandemic COVID. or whatever. So, fired. huh? I got fired from an at home job due to COVID. Due to COVID? Yeah, yeah, I, that, and a lot of people were. I opted out of football due to COVID. Yeah, a lot I, of. I took a whole year and a half off football. I then went back to play after yeah. a whole year and a half off. For yeah. a whole different school. For a whole different school. That shit was just like a whole like that shit was crazy. A like, life changing like, experience. A life changing experience. Like you think everything's so normal and everything's just fucking flip on you. Yeah. I had to go back home, stay with my people for a little bit, and I just I like man, fuck this. I gotta fix something. I went back back to Louisiana, mm -hmm. stayed down there for a little bit. Finished school, came came to Atlanta. I really I finished school in Atlanta. I was I came stay with bro like the end of my semester school. Yeah, I remember I that. I came stay with y'all like man, fuck this. This was, was in going. December. This in December. Like fuck, I'm not going back to Louisiana. I'm finna finish school up here, bro. December of 2020. December of 2020. That's I came over crazy. here. I fucked around and got to end up staying around here till like May. Yeah, <laughs> man. I graduated. In no. May. No, you stayed here till July. Yeah, literally July. And then got that I, I graduated before I left. Then I went to another school. And that shit was like, I was like, damn, bro. Like, I really just, yeah, I really just flipped the whole script. I was all the way down here at the bottom of the map. And I popped back up to the top. And yeah, shit, like, to yeah, Illinois. To Illinois. All the way to Illinois. From Louisiana. Yeah. I never really thought, like, this shit, like, just because of the pandemic. Yeah. Mm. A lot of shit changed. A lot of shit changed. Like, my whole surrounding changed. Yeah. I, went, I went from the swamp to fucking cornfields. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Gee, yeah. creep was up. This bitch was and in, in, in between, in between, you were in the city. I was in the city. I was in Atlanta. So I'm like, bro, like, I'm leaving Atlanta. I'm gonna, right, I pull up up there. It's dark, so it's like four o'clock in the morning. I get picked up from the airport. Mm -hmm. I was up that morning, bro. I go outside, bro. It's nothing but fucking cornfields for miles. I'm like, where in the fuck am I at? Yeah. And then like we, I'm leaving the city. Like when I leave, and I decide to leave school, I'm leaving the city, bro. All I, I'm like, I don't even see shit like this in Alabama. Bro. It's straight cornfields. I'm like, Please. what? What city in uh? What city in Illinois were you in? It was a small town called Macomb. And I'm from a small town, but this shit small. My small town, I'm from. Mm. Like this mm. shit was like everybody know. This shit was like the boonies. Like you mm. fuck around, like I might not have service in, in a certain place. I'd be at school with no service. All I got a Wi Fi. They start shit going on. And so this is July through July through uh, September. September. Yeah. July through September. Of 2021. Of 2021. Yeah. Damn, man, Illinois. Mm. Illinois. I remember. I remember whenever uh, you left. We were. Uh, where, where where was I at? I wasn't home. You were home. Nah, bro. Oh, okay. I was gone. No, you left that morning. You, you left. Uh, you left you was on the trip. No, you, didn't no, even no, no, hell no. I'm not finna put it down. You left around right before me and now left. That's what I'm saying. Where was I? Uh, I don't know. I, you had to go somewhere because like I, I said, nine for the spend the night. Then we gonna yeah. fuck around leaving the morning. Yeah. And you got up, we got around the same time. And I was in that fucking restaurant eating some tacos in the morning. And you had to go down slide. You had to slide and do something. something. I was somewhere, bro, you when you left. Because when I came food. back, you were gone. And I'm like, oh, sh I was like, Trey left. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, dang, like, all right, he went to all right, California. So I'm thinking the whole time, like, all right. Oh, no, you went to Virginia. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I went to Virginia. And right. then you went to California. Yeah, went to California and so California. I'm thinking, like, all right, he'll be back probably in a few weeks. And he's like, hey, bro, the coach came through. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he came bro. through. They called yeah, they, 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 they call me when I was in Cali. They were like, they gave me the little off of football. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, I got to call bro and let him know. Like, and then I'm, I'm the crazy thing like, about this shit, bro. I'm finna get out some other shit. Like, when I, I'm in Cali, I ain't bring shit to Cali. I brought like some jogging pants and some shorts, a t shirt. I had mm -hmm. like three t shirts, three bad jogging pants, and pass, two bad shorts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm finna, I ain't finna be I'm finna go back to the A. I'm finna get that thug. Yeah. And the, coach called, the coach called me while I'm in Cali. He gave me the offer. He said, "What's the fastest you can be up here?" It's a Tuesday. I'm like, "Shit, I be I can be up there next Tuesday." Yeah, gotta gotta get it, bro. So, so I fuck around. We fly back from Cali. We, we supposed to fly back from Cali Thursday. We motherfucking drive. We had a driver when we was in Cali. The driver done booked our tickets for August 28th. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that Tuesday was August the second. Now that supposed to be it's gone. Like, wow. So that's three weeks. So, so that's three weeks out. So like we gotta. Go to the, we go we go to the motherfucking uh look airport shit mm -hmm. fix our tickets then the crazy thing about this shit they exchange our tickets for the tickets the next day we go back the next day what, they trying to recharge us for the fucking tickets bro mm. I know they gave y'all a hard time bro so nine 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 in that bit he funny as fuck bro he know how to play this shit he like, he got wait who's nine you gotta explain who nine is nine, nine is my big cousin y'all gonna see him on the podcast soon yeah sure 
Now I got down. He in that bitch. He he catch attitude. He grab his pockets. He started walking back and forth. The lady, uh. said, okay. the lady said, "Okay, gave us tickets for free. Mm. <laughs> Check these bags in, baby. We on the plane back to Virginia. I'm, I'm in Virginia for like two days. Then I'm like, fuck, because this is Friday because." That we, missed, we missed the flight Thursday because I fucking tickets booked for the wrong day. Mm-hmm. Fly back on that Friday. I'm in Virginia two days. Booked my tickets to St. Louis because Macomb's so fucking crazy inside of Illinois. Like, the closest airport, like, two hours away from, from the school. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck. I had to fly to St. Louis that three hours away. Mm-hmm. I fly to St. Louis. I could fly to the A and had to catch, catch connected flight. I fly from goddamn Richmond to uh, the A. Then I fly from the A to St. Louis. I get to St. Louis. It's like 12 o'clock at night. Bro, don't come pick me up. I go up that hell. It's dark. I can't see shit. But I wake up the next morning. Why is it fucking deer in the road on the way to school? Lord. <laughs> and they won't even move. They like just this is my road. A whole bunch <laughs> of them. bro. Like we on campus, bro. Like bro, finna get deer, hit. Bro, it's deer on campus. Like literally, like walking around the fucking student union. Yeah. It's deer. Gangster. Um, we pull up in. We pull up in, <laughs> we pull up in, in the country. Bro, we pull up at our apartments. It's raccoons like running like they own apartments. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, bro, where in the fuck Will am I at? Is. Like where am I at, bro? Like you got this is in you Virginia. Fucking, look, no, this is in this is in Illinois. In Illinois. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the tra- I'm going to the track and one day my partner said, "Hey, bro, watch the records." <laughs> I'm like, what in the fuck am I doing, bro? Like, what is going on in my life right now? Like, I just came from the city and now I'm around some shit. Like, I ain't never had to watch. I'm from Alabama. I ain't never had to watch out from the raccoon. Yeah, right. And I can't even got to go to the track and eat raccoons. I didn't be like, yeah, I remember like, like well, they have, I mean, like stray right. cats or to, something. Be, to be honest with you, bro, I ain't. I've seen a raccoon in person, but I've really never seen a raccoon like that. Yeah. I've seen. And you don't want to see they one. Have they have raccoons here. They have raccoons here. I'm sure they do. I I rac- have, raccoons, um, armadillo, oh, armadillo, boy, armadillo, get on your ass. A possum gonna play there with the armadillo. Oh, wait, that bit, that bit like a rolling, uh, rolling fucking uh, rolling pole. We seen a lot of like an extra large rolling pole. That bit fucking Yeah, I mean in Texas they have plenty of armadillos. Yeah. But I'm talking about raccoons. Oh, yeah, like raccoon. they, ain't, I ain't never seen a raccoon. Raccoon like a motherfucking a dog that walk on their back leg. Yeah, it can <laughs> open up your trash can. Yeah. yeah, I mean I know they're they're like nocturnal, right? Yeah. So you, they're at night. At night. Yeah. So I ain't never really been outside at night for real. See, I'm my uh, I think my um, like, what is it? An like animal mm-hmm. would be a, a owl. So you're, oh, you're saying your uh, spirit animal? Yeah, my spirit animal would be an owl. Yeah. Why? Gotta Explain. Look all around. Huh? Gotta look all around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they can turn their head in every direction. Yeah. Um. Overnight. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm. I'm a night owl. I'm literally, I'm up. You seen how I am? Like, even baby bro, it was like, yo, he be up. Yeah. Like, drugs and all. I'll be up to about like yeah. six, four or five, six type thing. So he OVO Drake owl. And wise. Like, you know. Yeah, wise knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I, and that in the bear, like an owl bear. An owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, well, so okay, what, like, what about right. all right? So, Tekken character. Oh, bear. Right. <laughs> what, what what bear qualities do you believe you embody? Polar bear. Polar bear. Yeah. So polar like bear got cold. black skin. Yeah. They got black skin. They got, black skin. Yeah. they got a white coat. White yeah. coat, black skin. An all white party. Yeah. Yeah. So For like real. because they're uh, and obviously they ferocious. Wild too. Yeah. Huh? Ferocious, yeah. Yeah, that's why I about to say they get wild. You know, yeah. they're a beautiful sight to look at, but don't fuck with them. Yeah. They, but if they're in their own type of environment, you know, they they can deal with coldness all around them. That's, that's where... But you know what's really crazy? What's that? Like, when you really think of a polar bear, it's, it's crazy to think that they actually exist because it's like they're just way different from any other bear. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like they're white. And they, and they gotta deal with different shit for a whole like year yeah. that other bears don't have to deal they with. They don't have to deal with that, bro. They live on icebergs. And yeah. these other bears I had living in fucking the hot ass the forest Forest and, shit like and stuff. Yeah. And shit like this. But and the bears. Listen to the cold fish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You cold, you eat cold fish. Cold yeah. fish, bro. That shit like they murdering seals. Motherfuckers yeah. living in the for- in the goddamn in the freezer. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. So they oh freezer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why. All right. So I got Spanish people call me also Pilates. Yeah, 
What's that stand for? Polar bear. Okay. And that's and you know I I learned you know being with you know Mexicans and Cubans and everything. I, my Spanish game, you know. I'm yeah. Every yeah. time like I'm in the kitchen and I start speaking Spanish, people are like, oh he knows. He knows. Who's he who. knows. Yeah. That's when they start speaking a little yeah. differently. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna shoot your respect. He, he on game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On he game. can understand a little bit. That, that means I gotta watch what around. I say. Yeah. In San but Antonio. That, but that, but that's what help you out though. Like you gotta when you move around out here, bro. You like and you know how to move. It, that should like change the game for you. Yeah. Because really? everywhere you go, you can fit in. You can get them articulate with, a, with, the, with the people, and that that should just say. Right. Like, like Kevin thing. Hart said, bro, it's a game. You know what I'm saying? Because being out here and you, and you not know what the fuck going on, but yeah, it's a, you get in trouble. You better know the rules. <laughs> trouble, <laughs> trouble, <laughs> trouble, <laughs> trouble. Dollar you better bill. know the rules. I mean, dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Right. Um, I was just thinking about different places. Didn't you go to like? Somewhere like it was in Asia or something. Yeah, yeah, Thailand. yeah. Thailand. Thailand, man. So, I mean, first, you know, I feel like we got to just say one of the things that we want to strive for in life, I feel like I can talk for all of us. We really want to see the world, bro, especially before we leave this world. We want to see this world. We don't want to just see Atlanta for the rest of our lives. Right. Hell no. We don't want to just see... <laughs> um, the Amer like America, America for the rest of our lives. Yeah. We don't want to just see Los I Angeles, see. New York. Okay, you got like five places that you really want to go. What that shit, that shit, that that shit cold and all. Huh? Your house was in Honduras and stuff. Out yeah, there. Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Honduras. I mean, he he was in the army. It took him everywhere. Yeah. So. Um, Germ. I believe he went to Germany. Yeah, I want to see something. Costa Rica. I want to see like yeah. all the- Bora Bora, yeah. the Iceland, yeah. all this type shit. Yeah. So like the United States media, they. I mean, they kind of put it out there a little bit, but at the same time, they also kind of poop on foreign countries. Like they they give them like such bad names, like Africa. Oh, poor little black babies. Haiti. HIV. Yeah, Haiti. Oh, they just. They ain't got TVs. You think motherfuckers over there living on dirt? All type of shit, bro. That shit. Bro, the world is beautiful, man. The entire world is beautiful. Much more beautiful than just the United States alone. Um, So much of God's creation that is just left to be seen that we have to see like we're going to be able to see it soon like I plan on traveling the world by we vlogging this shit next year we man we vlogging yeah. this shit this is on this is on the flow by next year <laughs> I feel like oh I feel like we're going to be able to travel this world um and that's like you know one of our top main goals in life man is to travel the world um there was this guy I met like he said I went to an Asian country uh Thailand I'm sure I've met like uh, much of the people listening to this are familiar with Thailand. Mm-hmm. Um, went to Chiang Mai and man, it was beautiful, man. Like nothing like the United. And whenever you're over there on the other side of the world, have y'all been to the other side of the world? Nigga, look at me. I'm just saying, like, hey, <laughs> there's people that you, hey, 21 but, no, Savage. That's, yeah, that's all I'm about to say. Yeah, I'm saying, like, he, yeah, he from over there. I'm from Alabama. That's, that's true, man. That's true. I am from. We can't do that. No. Yeah, we, no, we, we can't we, do we, that because we'll, we'll, we haven't yet. We from, yeah. we from we the haven't yet. Yeah. I just got my ID this year. Right. I ain't got no motherfucking. Oh, you said you're going to get your passport, Get my passport right next year. We are on our way. Yeah. I got to get my check up. We're going to, yeah. the, we're going to the Netherlands next year in the summer. Bro, yeah. the Netherlands, the Netherlands man. I'm yeah. sure the Netherlands are so, it's so beautiful, bro. I I know it's so, I want to go. I want to go, for I sure. I want to go to Ireland. Ireland? Yeah. Ireland, bro. I'm sure Ireland is beautiful, too. Irish. It's one of the most like famous you countries. Check me out. They've been drinking beer. Yeah, I've been drinking beer doing a two nah, step. Literally, you know, as well. I want to know, like, cause they say like the reddish hair. You know that yeah, it might be got red hair. It, it might be true. Red, orange hair. Might be. You never know. Yeah, right? you could have. You should do the um. What's the uh, heritage test? Ancestry.com. Ancestry. Com. Com. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Bro. I'm, yeah. I want to, but I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, that's like yeah. somebody asked me earlier what race is I, or, or race is mine. I said I'm black, but my God wasn't there to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can see right. it. You can see it. You can see it for sure. Mm-hmm. You can see it somewhere down the line. Yeah, well, I don't say. Very far. Mm-hmm. Very far. Very, <laughs> very far. Very far. You know they have dark skin Asian like. Yeah, you, I mean the uh, the people in Thailand were dark skin, bro. You yeah, remember when we was in Miami and we seen Cubans that were darker than him? Yeah. Speaking just only sp- Spanish. Like. Yeah. Damn. 
Yeah, yeah bro. People kind of have a weird perception when it comes to like Hispanics and Asians not being darker skinned. Like, there's darker skinned Everything. Asians and Hispanics. And, 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 and it's white Africans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's white Jamaicans. You, you ever seen the yeah. mummy? You ever seen the mummy? The bald head dude. He was a white African dude, bro. Yeah, yeah. like the yeah. sand man. He was a white African dude. For they sure. Really have that. Yeah, but to go back to to Thailand, mm-hmm. man. And yeah, we're way off such. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, 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 it's fine. I've been it's roaming fine. around. <laughs> it is fine. Look. Cross. All right. Cross. Cross feet. First of all, <laughs> I love Thai food, right? But you ain't never had, like, real Thai food until you went to Thailand. Mm-hmm. Some, like, really good, like, man, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life type Thai food mm-hmm. until you went to their native country and had actual people from Thailand cook for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you say you want like, ooh, this Italian food, fire, or whatever, but until you go to Italy, Italy then you you're like, dang, this Italian food, made. like, whoa, Different. I ain't never oh, tasted oh, nothing I, like I, this ever I in my mean, life. I don't mean interrupt. What? No, bro, speak. Who's that pizza? It's, mm, <laughs> Americans. Who's that like? I, I thought pizza was like famous over somewhere else, like. Americans, bro. A pizza is really an American thing. For real? Yeah, man. I mean, obviously, it's an Italian, Italian. food, but it's inspired Italy? by Italians. But I believe, from what I've heard, pizza is really from what Italians that already live here kind of created. But back in Italy, I don't know if Italian, I mean, if pizza is as big of a I, food I, I, over I, there. I thought they thought with pie more than they thought with pizza. Pies? Yeah, like pies. Like, I, thought, uh, I thought they call this shit pies. Pizza pie. Okay, yeah. I thought they yeah. call this shit pies. Like I, a deep dish. Yeah, mm. like, yeah, I remember mean, like some yeah. shit like that's that. That's just like, Chicago. Yeah. 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 Mm. Obviously, I could I could be wrong. I mean, We pizza. could be wrong because I know I had a question because I don't fucking know. I'm trying yeah. to figure out where pizza came from. Um, we can, that's one Because you know the, excuse me, do you know the English muffin? They don't even make English muffins overseas. The English muffin originated in America. Uh, yeah, exactly. Something like that. That shit crazy. Something like that. There's there's a lot of like French fries. You think they started in France, but they did not start in France. They started in Belgium. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why they call them French fries. <laughs> this uh, shit is crazy. Belgium waffle was created in, in Belgium. Yeah, I don't think it yeah. was either. My oh, life is oh. a lie. Yeah. <laughs> My Pretty life much. Is a lie. Pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, they're misnomers. Um, which means like it's a yeah. name, but it, like, it, it leads but in a totally wrong direction. Right, mm-hmm. it's not the actual meaning of that. I just thing learned a new about. word. Misnomer. Misnomer. Yeah. Like African American. It's mm. like a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, am I African but American? If I'm, I'm either one or the other. Cross, no. <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> what's you know what's crazy about African American? Bro, we are American. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it. Like it ain't yeah. no such thing. Because no, if we was African American, that means we came from Africa. I ain't no fucking. I grew up in America. I yeah. was born in America. I'm American. But yeah. there's people that have grown up in Africa that have been in America and birthed children that are American. That are but, truly but, African but, American. But, but, yeah. What I'm telling you is, I'm not one of them people. I'm not true, <laughs> so, true enough. So, therefore, my shit, I should not have to put these people like, they really like, I don't even want to get into that, these people shit because we are people. Right. So, like, you really got to put down black slash African American. Yeah. Yeah. I am. American. Bruh, all right. Speaking <laughs> on that, do you know how hard it is for me to fill those out, bro? I'm saying, like, what color are you, nigga? Bruh, because it'd be like, look, 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 look. look. This is, but this is, but, but, saying, but it, that shit don't say that shit on the motherfucker when you fill out the, uh, yeah, when you fill out your, your paperwork and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, there's no mix. This shit didn't say Hispanic or black. Yeah, it says and literally Hispanic or black, but there's no, like, in between. Mix. Yeah, there's other. Other, but, like, uh, why, 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 would I put, why would I put other when I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm. It's very rarely other. Right. Very rarely. Yeah. Like, who usually fuck, it's like white who, Caucasian. Who the fuck are you if you other? Asian. Who are you? African like they American. Got, they have every race that they have made up on that bitch. So, who yeah. the fuck else is you if you put other? You was a motherfucking alien. Right. <laughs> Literally. Right. And, and like, and sometimes I'm filling those out. I'm like, is there like a, a thing that they try to, like a quota they try to meet? Right. Because that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to think about this. Wouldn't white be European too? 
Huh? Yeah. So why the fuck would they not put European, but they put Black and African American? Exactly. Mm. And Hispanic. Come on, now, like this. That's what don't make sense to me. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't exactly know. Like, if you're hiring somebody, does it really matter what color they are? Color like, they are. All it, all it matters is that work ethic and what they can do for the company. Exactly. That's all that matters. Exactly. So, like, what the fuck I gotta fill out my race for? Exactly. And that that's the thing that trips me out. And I'm like, I, I could okay, look. When it comes to the whole race thing, especially like with actors, um, people like this, you know what I'm saying? People that are like, like uh, directors, like oh, they only hired an all white writers group, or yeah, they yeah, only and, hired and, and an it'll, all it'll white. Be some shit like a black yeah. show. Yeah, 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 but yeah Like yeah. I sent you to a podcast the other day, and it was like Family Matters. Family Matters had a whole white writing crew, like producing crew. Yeah, and like Steve Urkel was not like considered like Steve Urkel was a nerd, so like. That's not how young black kids grow up in America, in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, that shit was, like, weird to black people because, like, that shit was, like, wasn't even funny in the end. Yeah. That shit was kind of corny. Because it was. It was not black writers behind the shit. You you got white, Cauca you got Caucasian writers trying to portray a black fam family in Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not not trying not to be not trying to do, do no race shit, but I'm just saying like that shit don't even match. This is like a black family writing about a motherfucking rich family in Malibu. Yeah, it, a rich and white and family in Malibu. So, all right, so there's a word for people that try to push this narrative of, like, we have to have five black people on this writer's group, or we have to have a female lead character in this movie. Not, not who's the best actor for this movie, not who's the best whatever, whatever. And those people are called... Uh, social justice warriors. I don't call them that. I mean, I just I don't really care to be honest with you. I'm not. I'm not saying. This is terminology. I'm not saying one way is right or one way is wrong. I'm just saying that's what people like that are called. Um, and it's really interesting, man. It's really interesting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm good over here. I feel great. I feel good, man. I feel great. I'm, look, I feel, I feel amazing. amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm I feel amazing in this bitch. I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, and I'm, yeah. Go ahead, finish. All right, all right. All right. I'll say, look, I'll say this, and this is my piece on this subject. Um, so this, uh, this whole thing in in America right now, especially with like the the whole sensitivity issue that you know a lot of people talk about, like, oh, this generation is so soft. Oh, uh, this generation just That's yeah yeah yeah, That's yeah. I ain't gonna lie and, and like like to you know the Me Too movement mm. of course and not not trying to group all this in, oh, under, under the, the uh, you good? I stuck my finger in my scar. Ah, <laughs> it looks good, man. Look, yeah, I was good. man, bro. I felt, look, side story. Side story. I don't even mean to interrupt, bro. Like, no, bro, I continue, bro. I fell. I was pissing. Well, I was pissing and I fell and I hit the tub. You know how the, the tub and the wall meet. I don't know if you've ever been in an apartment like in the, on the East Coast, but yeah. tubs and the wall meet in departments. Mm -hmm. So I fell right between the fucking tub and the wall. That shit hit my head right here, bro. My Ugh. shit split clean open. I got up. I went and got a towel. I put this shit on my head. My shit probably bled the whole night. I was with the next morning, bro. My whole tattoo split in half. They're like, oh, my God, you need to go get stitches. I said, yeah. fuck them stitches. I came back home, bro. I said, you might need stitches. Two days later, look at my shit. It looks good. Look at my shit. Bro, you, it, it's almost it not even. It actually looks like an underline under your. I don't, this shit happened Monday, bro. Yeah. Look, look. When he came back, bro, it looked way bro. worse. Worse. I, like I, had, shit. Like I, I was like right. jelly on my head. <laughs> yeah, man. I was it, like a jellyfish it, in this bitch. it looked like somebody. It looked like somebody like really took a knife and just, just, just jabbed me right, right here, just, right into his forehead. Said a jellyfish. I was like a jellyfish in this bitch. Like somebody yeah. squeezed jellyfish. It looks. Jelly you on. can't even see it, bro. It's gonna heal up really good. Yeah. It's gonna heal up really good. Be old character. Yeah. Right. He's gonna be like me. Yeah, yeah. You see it, yeah. but you can't really see it like anymore, like how it used to. It be. used to be like a big. All right, so I have a huge scar on my forehead. Like I said earlier in the podcast, you see my forehead, bro. It's a fire head. God bless me. Mm -hmm. He just he got he got the look. He blow, look. It's blow, like blow, blow, <laughs> blow. Uh, it's hey, like, blow, like blow. Blow. Hey, look. You playing a video game, right? And you just adjusting the qualities on your character. Saints right? row. Mm -hmm. Saints row. The forehead, forehead. category. 
Honda. Maxed out. <laughs> uh, He's maxed out, a man. <laughs> Bro, God bless him with a big forehead. So, uh, anyways, I'm his barber. On this big, on this big, yeah. And you know how that—that's tough on barbers, bro. It's like you don't want to mess up their hairline. Ooh, I don't want to push his hairline back. I don't want to push it back. Ooh. We got that in my forehead. When do I stop? Right. What the fuck do I stop? Yeah, man. That's the—that's the problem I deal with in life, man. Everybody got something. Right. So, uh, so it ain't so hard feeling my thought for life, but like I just be like, man, sometimes this shit ain't easy. Yeah, yeah. It's you got to take double, bro. Gotta, it's look, you really got to be like. You just gotta get the time. Oh. Let me let me step back and take out. Yeah, here. survey the field. Yeah. Let me survey the field. Let me take a couple uh, double takes and look around. Make sure everything is up to par. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got this big scar on my forehead, and whenever I was like a little bit younger, it used to be way more uh, noticeable. Yeah, noticeable. You know, whatever. And I always noticed it. And I, I remember I used to, because I was subconscious about it. So I used to, like, try to rub it, man, try to, like... Or wear hoodies. Hoodies, grow my hair out. Yeah. yeah everything. I, I, I used noticed to, that being your older... Shit, I didn't know. Huh? You were subconscious about this shit? Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't think, of, I ain't think that you really, like... Was, I really cared about it? Yeah. I mean, it, it. honestly, I didn't think about it every day. But for sure, when I looked in the mirror, when I looked at it, I'm like, yo, I feel like I'll look a lot better without this. Yeah. And so I just, I remember, like, like I said, just rubbing it, trying to, like, uh, destroy yeah, the yeah. scar tissue. Yeah. I remember I used to look up how to lessen, uh, like, scars, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How to, like, reduce scars. Yeah. Uh, whenever I was, like, in middle school, bro, and I, like, man, I, mean, I don't know why. Like, nobody ever said nothing about it. I just, it was just my own little thing. Because my Ford was so big, bro. Mm -hmm. And, uh, which is fine. It's cool. It is what it is. Um, I can make jokes about it now. I used to be subconscious because guess what? At the high school um, lunch tables, mm -hmm. boy. Nigga, your ass like draw. Huh? Your ass like draw. Hold on. Man, this? what? Oh, look, you, you talking about that scar? I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm the gonna, fat I'm boy you of on. all of us. I've always been fat. Oh, I, I, always no. been. I, oh, I was a fat boy too, man. Listen, I'm playing. I was I'm like, talking about... Um, Oh yeah, but y'all between y'all yes. two, I was a fat boy yeah, too. I was yeah. growing up, my brother. I hated that shit. I had to learn how to really get them get on folks' ass. Yeah, I used to be a direct giving niggas hell though. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying that road Lord, session, that road session, the road niggas, session. All right, so with the high school tables, motherfucking fuck with me, I'm on your ass, bro. You, the, you look, the high me? school tables, bro. The tables was either you freestyling with the little beats. Yeah, yeah with a freestyling, yeah. you roasting. Oh, you roasting? Yeah. Roasting. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I used to get roasted, bro. I remember people used to be like, man, people can uh, project a movie on your forehead, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, movie projector, bro. Mm -hmm. I used to have a movie projector forehead. Lord. Yeah, man. I was that guy. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you the pencil, goddamn. <laughs> bro, like, you ain't even going to believe this shit. If I tell you, so I got to show you the pencil first. Show me the picture, bro. Oh, look, what is shit at? If it's on, yeah, it got to be on here. Hey, but but the thing is, you turn your insecurity into something that you can just laugh about, bro. Literally. It's fine. It's cool. It's, it is what it is. It's right. fine. Life is what you make it. Life is people, what people you make it. People make this shit hard. This shit so easy. It really is. Yeah. This shit is so easy. Like, you can really do what you want to do. All you got to do is put your mind to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of people say this shit, and it's so cliche, but then at the end of the day, like, all your goals, bro, all you got to do is go toward and meet you halfway. Yeah, like literally, they will meet you halfway. Meet they're you coming halfway. too. Like, they're coming. They're, they're coming, coming to you. Just, like you come, they coming. Like wherever you headed, they headed towards you too. So all you gotta do is keep your head up. Yeah, you might see them. Yeah, you might see them. Yeah, and then and don't quit, bro. Don't, don't. That's the only way you ever lose in life. You quit. Yeah. Because how you know how far you to made it? Because you quit. Yep. So if you keep going, God, now you can't stop. You but can. If you, if you stop, and you could die happy. Well, you could die happy. If you keep going and got close. But if mm -hmm. you got them stuck, hey man, you gonna live a whole miserable life and then just die sad. Yup. It's the one way to live. Of, uh, <laughs> of that movie on Disney, the uh, Soul movie. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Like, like he was like, I made it now, and this is what it is. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah. What What are you doing to maximize your soul inside of this meat bag? Yeah, that's what we is like right now. You can, like how you say, oh, yeah, you used bro, to be the fat boy. Yeah. Bro, this shit, what, what we in right now? It's old school. Mm -hmm. Like, this shell, right, this shell we in, this shit gonna disappear one day. But, like, the, the energy we put out, the shit we put out into this world, it'll never disappear. You said mm -hmm. it's called what? Soul school. Soul school. We this life, soul, we, this, this life, life is. We in soul school because your soul is learning how to, like, 
adapt and like learn from all the shit we go through and then once your body like die and give up your soul gonna leave your body now you, you know I mean it's, it's going, going somewhere, going somewhere else. else like you ever it seen it might be a pet energy yeah, cannot energy, yeah. cannot energy cannot be die. created or destroyed that shit cannot die so like you think or about, sorry destroy it think about scooby doo yeah Remember Scooby-Doo, Scooby -Doo, people slowly, everybody been in a little pool shit, swimming around. Yeah. And then motherfuckers reaching that bitch and grabbing it. Then, remember, the people end up in the wrong body type shit. Yeah. That's like real life. Yeah. They put shit in front of your face to, so you won't believe the shit, but the shit really be real. Out of all movies. Huh. You heard what movie he just said? Scooby-Doo. Yeah. They put that shit I remember. Like okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was I the first know what you... movie that me and him went to go see. Yes. Yeah. And when he was like, a kid, kid. And, and, and I, and like I remember crying, crying one, bro. That, that was like one of my favorite movies, bro. I swear to God. Scooby the the real deal, the the real characters. Yeah, like bro, when, like when, when I, I think my favorite one was the one when they went to the uh, motherfucking little camp shit when they had it got saved at the dock and shit. Yeah, yeah. That one, that was my favorite one. When like, Scooby them with eating the, the hot dogs and shit in the motherfucking yeah, that yeah. Shit. That came out a long uh, time, a long ago, time ago. Yeah, look at that picture. That's crazy. Y'all don't see no mold in my nose. No, but this shit grew like in fourth grade. Yeah. I was in fourth grade, I was like, what the fuck is this growing? Like, it was a little small pet. I used mm -hmm. to scratch it off every day and my shit used to have like a little a little scab. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then like every day this every day it I scratched it growing. off, the shit grow bigger and bigger. So eventually I stopped scratching shit and shit just turned in this bro. Yeah, you got that Mike Jones. I was like, what in the fuck? <laughs> that Mike like, Jones. I was I grew up without this shit and that shit pop. I'm like, yeah. I gotta adapt to this shit because I didn't have it. People like I don't think I was good. People like, what the fuck is that on your face? Motherfucker used to call me chocolate chip all type of shit. I'm like Cause you're mold. Yes, bro. You got chocolate, <laughs> motherfuckers. You got chocolate chip on your face. Oh my god! So I don't know. I'm not sure if people are gonna be able to see this if they just listen into the audio. But so, like I said before, I gotta just imagine a guy talking with a big forehead, right? Mm -hmm. So Trey got a he got a mole on his nose. I mean, it's just a mole. It's just a mole. What that was that? Uh, Austin Powell. Mole, 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 mole. <laughs> yeah, man. Like right. you gonna see, like you see me, you gonna see this motherfucker. It ain't just extraordinarily big, but like it's like noticeable. Like, Basically, if you look at him, you gonna notice them all. Yeah, it's a part right. of my look. Yeah. When I was like, Bryson to, actually I, said that. I, I used to want to get this shit like removed when I was a kid, but I, I didn't embrace this shit so much. Now I'd be like, man, this shit's just part of me, so fuck it. Really it. Yeah. Is. So fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I whenever I look at Trey, I mean, I don't even see the mole, bro. Me neither, but Bryson said that one time. You know, he's observing. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was like, we tell you he has a mole. I was like, how you know about mole? Wait, 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 yeah. So all right, so all right, so speaking on the music, mm -hmm. man. So you rap, right? Yeah. So rap. tell us about the rap. Man, when I was a kid, I used to do like, hold up. When I was a kid, I used to do talent shows and shit like yeah. elementary school. I was in third yeah, grade. I, I had a teacher named Miss Hendon. Mm -hmm. I was so into this rap shit when I was a kid. I went and got like an airbrush hat that said my name. I had a, a Juicy J, like, you know, Juicy J had a green coat in the up. It was one of his, I forgot what music video with was. With the skull? Yeah, with the skulls and shit. Yes. I, had, I had that jacket from the flea market. And my name was Airbrush on the back. That bitch said Trey. Mm -hmm. I performed the whole show, the whole little talent show at, at elementary school. Show. And I got them shot of my teacher out at the end, bro. That shit went crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, literally went crazy. But, like, I said, I really didn't take this shit serious. And then I got older, and I had a cousin named Tyreek. Mm -hmm. And I got them. Me and Tyreek, we like 10, 11. We like 10, 11, 12 type shit. And he got a computer. He got a laptop. He got a Dell laptop. And we used to get on the laptop. He was like, you want to rap? I be like, man, fuck it, let's do it. We can. He, he'll play some past, like a past trace instrument. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pass trace instrument. He'll rap. And this back when C CD was popular. Yeah. Man, we made a whole fucking album. And then we like burned the album. And we was like, we was in the hood giving this shit out to like the, the old heads and the, everybody in the street. Like, shit, we look so kids. This had to be like before 2010. Bro, this shit, this was this this like 2010, 2000, 2011 type shit. Yeah. I'm finna, I'm finna put you down the game. 2010, 2011, we in the hood passing our CDs. Yeah. It's grown people right on the road, this type of shit. Our folks end up hearing this shit, but we in that bitch talking about gang banging all type of shit. But we, mm -hmm. we kids, we talking about bloods and all this shit. Mm -hmm. They like, y'all boys are crazy. Yeah. But we like, that that how we were living so like we ain't, we we really ain't pay too much attention to it. Mm -hmm. Like around two thousand twelve, bro. I ain't gonna speak too much on it, but like some shit happened. This is my cousin, like I'm like he like two years older than me, like one year older than me, two years older than me. He ended up going to jail, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like he been in jail ever since we were that young, like around two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, mm -hmm. like twelve, thirteen years old. He He's been, been in jail he since. He's been in jail ever since. 
And like that was like my best friend. Like, like we was always around each other type shit. Yeah. Right. And like I made my first CD ever, my first rap CD ever with him, and I never rapped again after that. Mm-hmm. Then when the pandemic hit, I had shit, I didn't have shit to do. So I'm, I'm in school, and I I really ain't got to go to school because all my classes like on the computer type shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing my classes and shit. COVID. And I had a friend named Pat that was on my team, and he came from a uh, fucking uh, either Nebraska, or Stanford. Mm-hmm. And he, he used to rap, but like. I was like, ah, he, he called me one day, he was like, pull up on me. I pulled up on him, he had the studio set up. We started rapping. I was like, man, this shit cool or whatever. And then I had a laptop for my, my girlfriend or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I had some little bullshit earbuds I used to play the game with. So I started rapping with the earbuds and the laptop. I started recording on the laptop. I recorded my first mix tape on the laptop with some earbuds, no microphone. Mm-hmm. That bitch went up to 2,000 views when I dropped it. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, this shit like, can be something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like I kept on rapping, bro. Like from last November to right now, I got twenty thousand streams, and that's with no promotion. Like don't nobody, don't nobody be sharing my shit. None. I'm the only person that promote my shit. And like I drop, mu- I was dropping music. Like when the, when the year started, I was dropping music every day. Like every day, like drop music every day. You and said twenty thousand. Twenty thousand streams. That's a fifth of a million. That's what I'm saying. Twenty thousand streams. Then I was like, I think. I was like, no, no, no. I'm tripping. That's a fifth of a. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. No, hundred thousand. Thousand, yeah, damn, you hot. But but then I'm like, how do I promote myself? Because I don't know how to promote myself, so I just keep on dropping. So I'm thinking like, if I keep on dropping, like eventually somebody pick up on the shit. People Mm -hmm. aren't picking up. So TikTok was getting big because the pandemic, because everybody at home. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna try TikTok. Me and bro tried TikTok a couple times, and they were like, that shit was like hit or miss. Mm Because we got six to eight thousand views one time, but then after that, it was like, we were missing. Talking about me and you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, We we were missing a couple times, so I was like, fuck, what do we do? Yeah. And then we fucked around and moved over here, and I had the grill the whole time. I was never thinking about it. Then I went and got them cleaning wipes, and I wiped the grill one time. Bro, the shit hit two hundred thousand. After that, the ball was rolling. I went up to one point five million views the next thirty days. Yeah. I'm like, bro, this shit all easy. Just off of image. Just, all just off of image. And then I started fucking putting the music behind it. Ball started rolling. Yeah. <laughs> People <laughs> sleep. People sleep. People sleep. And then like, it takes some dumb shit like me cleaning my grill for me to promote my music. Speaking yeah. of grill. You remember when I uh, pulled up? With a grill in? <laughs> yeah, I remember. In Miami, was... man, that's when. Bro, I remember when you pulled up to, uh, oh, with let me take grill in Texas. Let me, let me take this shit out, because y'all don't know. I'm really in the game. It's a real. This is a real goal. This is real goal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really in the game, but at the same time, my, my regular teeth are not bad at all. Yeah, not at all. My regular teeth are not bad at all, man. I, I got a little spaces and shit, but. Yeah, all right, man. Good teeth. Good teeth. <laughs> I got good front teeth. My back ones is. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I had uh, I had brackets on my uh, these two right here at the bottom, the mm-hmm. two one uh, in the middle, mm-hmm. just to close up a little gap I had. Um, I was like a sophomore in high school, and my gap was pretty. It was decently sized. It wasn't that big, honestly. Mm-hmm. But uh, I wanted it closed up, and luckily, Dad's military, insurance. yeah, insurance was able to cover it. We had to pay like a little copay, but uh. That insurance is a motherfucker, bro. That bitch save your ass. It will. I had to go get a two pull. If, if I'd have got the root canal, that bitch would have been $1,500. Listen, being grown. I said grown, that to the two being pulled, that bitch cost 50 bucks. Being grown, you <laughs> have to pay for it out of pocket? I yeah. was, bro. And, and, and look, you in the chuck. You in the chuck. I got shots, my brother. motherfucker trying to charge me. I'm like, yes. Yeah, like, yeah man. Nigga. You're charging me money after you, you do this. this like, you done drove me trying to charge me some yeah. money. What I look like? It's a scare movie. Yeah. <laughs> But it's people that, I mean, they're paid I'm to try do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm try hey, hey, do what you gotta do, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Um. What? Speak it. So there's people that's with insurance. Something. Damn. Oh. <laughs> they're about that big geek. Look, I'm about to say insurance to it. I'm drinking. I've been thugging. I've been thugging. I've been thugging. I ain't gonna lie, I've been hit with a lot of stuff because of insurance. Like, hell, the last time I actually, like, I never thought I was gonna go back to jail, but registration and insurance. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't. All off of just not working. Like, COVID really messed it up for me, like, a lot. Yeah. For a lot of things. Man, I don't feel sorry about that shit. Man, I know so many niggas with no insurance. 
I know, I know a nigga that got, got them. He ain't got a new tag since 2018. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, listen, I know a lot of people like that too, and I'm just like, I don't feel. They should, they should don't go home. Like, <laughs> like yeah. Like, motherfuckers be like from so far away in a whole different city. They ain't got to get no new tag. Them people ain't paying attention to that shit. Right. Like, when I met you, you talking about that uh, car inspection shit? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm fucking car inspection in Alabama. A mission? Yeah, we won't get, get no car inspection yeah. in Alabama. I'm gonna fucking get the car and then bitch at the I, car. I mean, I mean, in certain parts in in that in, over here in Georgia, they don't. Do they don't do inspections? Yeah. Do they do inspections in certain parts? Yeah. They, they do? do. Emissions is, yeah. is, is is certain counties. Yeah. Like if you was out in like Swanee or something like that. Yeah. They don't do that. They don't? But do they do it in the cab? Yes. I mean, I I'm, I'm, that. I'm definitely for sure they do it in the cab. You see yeah. when you see a neighborhood we working on the crib in? Yeah. That shit like, bro, I'm definitely, I'm pretty sure everybody out there probably got their car inspected. And Fulton and count. Fulton County? Uh, yeah, Fulton County. Yeah. I guess a lot of... What know, about uh, Gwinnett? There's it's Gwinnett, right? Part, it's certain, certain parts. Because, you know, there's a country part of Gwinnett, and then yeah. there's, like, the Red Sea part. Yeah. It's different. Like, even... Because, um, you know, like, Donya and Kanye's meet yeah. at a point, too. Yeah. And, like, if you go to Kanye's... There's certain parts of Congress where they do like you don't need mm. So yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's I mean, just like how we said, even with moving around, like there's the, like in VA, they have like um sound ordinance and stuff like that. Oh, bro, hey, bro. I was like Bro, like, bro, like bro, your, bro, your music bro, is too loud. But at the same time, bro, VA one of the cool places to be because like bro like Motherfucker really walk around smoking weed all day. Like, yeah, like, like, regular, DC, like, like a cigarette. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting in the wood. I got the wood coming down the steps of the apartment. Yeah. Like, that shit like regular. That's average. Yeah, that's. The motherfucker, pulling, motherfucker pulling up to my, y'all got that stinking ass gas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Yeah. But like, like, you go down the street, it's a dispenser right down the street. Yeah, because uh, weed is legal yeah, in weed, Virginia. Weed, weed is legal in Virginia. And then yeah. I'm, I'm super, bro, as soon as I get up down on the internet. Right. What can what, 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 recreation of smoke? Like, what can I do? What can I not do? Mm-hmm. Right. I can build that bit with less than an ounce, and I'm straight on the road. That's Imagine. Cool. Long, long, and long as I'm not driving, bro, I'm not getting no And then an ounce. That's a decent amount that's a decent of tree. Like, nigga, I'm not going to be smoking a whole ounce, like, literally, yeah. like, on the road, bro. Like, nah, bro, I ain't going to lie, though. You be smoking yeah. big fat. Yeah, I'm smoking a stupid ass wood. Like, you might think, I, I, if I get pulled, I'll probably have, like, a fucking 3.5 gram wood. But, like, mm-hmm. before I be, like, walking to drive down the road with a whole ounce, that's stupid. And look, you talking about weed and legalization and stuff and it being legal in Virginia. Mm-hmm. Like you said, a whole ounce is a lot, right? And yeah. you could drive around with that. Um, Man, like the whole weed thing is crazy. It's crazy. Man, that's yeah. just that shit crazy how they like, how like they trying to portray it. Like shit ain't crack. No, it's not crack. <laughs> it's it's not crack heroin. Like this shit ain't got like the world going to the fucking America going into a fucking epidemic type yeah. shit. Like, it it's like, just like how tobacco products yeah, is. It, it, like, they got like, pre rolls of it. They have yeah. Like you got like a cigarette or the same thing as a joint. Is yeah. it is it full of tobacco or a cigarette or a goddamn joint it's full of weed? Same and, shit. And look, I understand that weed was it was at, you know it was actually considered a schedule one uh, yeah. substance drug like on the same level as cocaine, yeah, right? It's, <laughs> it's insane and, and and it can't kill you. But the thing about you alcohol, you don't fuck around and die from peanut butter when you die from weed. Yeah, <laughs> and that's crazy because you eat peanut butter, you don't eat weed. Yeah, and like, <laughs> and, and like people do. Yeah, uh, people eat it, but like it's edible. Like it ain't peanut butter. Peanut butter fuck around like it's like a Popeye biscuit. Yeah, <laughs> basically the cholesterol can like literally cause your heart to stop if you eat too much. Yeah, honey. What? <laughs> but you can't. I mean, it hasn't been scientifically proven that you can die from. Weed, like mm-hmm. it's you not st- weed. statistically, it's not likely to happen. But statistically, alcohol, which is legal in the United States and has a way better perception, because people drink red wine, you will die. People go out and have a, a social oh. lubricant. <laughs> you will oh, die. Oh, Lord. That's what I was just, yeah, you can die. You can literally go to the store and buy ten bottles of wine or twenty bottles of wine and drink them. Why you before you get home? Yeah, you know and I mean? die and die. Like, but like. Motherfuckers are tripping by some weed that you smoking in the crib. Yeah. I'm not going nowhere for the smoke and sit my ass Ain't down. Even outside. No, you outside I'm, in nature. 
You smoking weed? I'm smoking trees around the tree, and now yeah. we got a problem. Yeah. And it's not even like a real psychedelic. Like it's not even like a right. LSD. No, no, no fucking uh, shrooms and no shit like yeah. that. Yeah. And it had it can li- like when you talk to people, bro, it really brings you into the moment, and um, you just. I ain't even gonna lie. Even with shrooms, that's a natural. Yeah, I'm thing. saying shrooms are natural shrooms too. Are, but like, yeah, like, uh, like that's, that's different from weed. What like, is it, psil- psilocybin? It's, it's a psychedelic. Yeah. Yeah, psilocybin though yeah, is like yeah, yeah. the actual chemical. Yeah, the chemical. Thing, but like I'm saying, like. As far as like from the how you get, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, so I, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, 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 like shrooms is cool and all that shit. But yeah. like, shrooms and weed, you can't put them in the same category. Yeah, because one, one is literally a psychedelic. Yeah, and the other and one, one is, like, is can be it can be considered a lot of things. Weed is very mm-hmm. versatile. It really is. Very it's versatile. Really. Yeah. yeah, hemp. Yeah, you got you got from weed. You can uh, get the THC. You can get the CBD. CBD. You just gotta know like the real, the real. You gotta research break it down. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta yeah. go do your research on what you, what you, what you think work best for you. Yeah, it, it's 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 very much something not to be mad at. I can understand that you know you don't want to just become fully dependent on weed. You know what I'm saying to survive and live right. your life. You know what I'm saying, especially if you're younger, because your brain isn't fully developed. Um, and it really isn't developed until you're 25 years old. Not a whole lot of people know that, but like weed can affect your brain development as you grow older. Um, between like, shoot, sixteen and twenty-five. Yeah. I mean, it, it can really, it can really adjust it. It's not going to detrimentally affect your brain like how heroin or something can. But yeah, if you got them between sixteen and twenty-five, you doing heroin, you got a fucking problem. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're just not living right. You just got a real problem. You got a real problem. Yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, you got a goddamn dog food. Well, you, you got a fucking job like Will, like Will Smith on the Love and Happiness. But, <laughs> but look, you look at the pursuit of happiness. Those are my love and happiness. But look, y'all, look, y'all look at the man. Y'all look at the man on the wall. Look at the man on the wall. Look, Barack Obama, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. smoking a joint. He's, He's smoking a joint. He's president of the president. United States of America. Yeah, I man. The stupid president. I'm talking about like shirts came out. Them bitches sold out. Them bitches like you go to the fucking hood store, bro. You cannot buy Obama shirt. Them bitches like some fucking off white Air Force Ones, mm-hmm. off white Jordan. Mm-hmm. That bitch cost. One of the most beloved presidents in United States history, because he was a well spoken person, was a good like leader, bro. Like he he really just talk to talk to american people yeah, like ain't about him being black yeah. he gave people hope yeah he yeah he both like sides. even all right look take obama's character and how he portrayed himself and put that in a white man's body you still gonna really like the guy you, mm-hmm. you still really gonna like him that was the first president i was actually able to vote for yeah and you know, it's that's crazy 18. 2008 yeah, yeah. They never forget that shit. 2008. That's where, that's, where, that's, where I, that's where I got down. Uh, Lil Wayne, when Lil Wayne first peaking type shit. When Drake. Yeah, uh, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, oh, like that. Lil Wayne made a fucking remix to Amelia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that Obama, Obama like shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that bro. shit was insane. That's a long time ago, man. That's a whole different lifetime ago. Yeah, like bro. literally, like that's not like that. You gotta be old enough to understand like what we talking about right now. Cause that shit was like. Yeah, back man. way back, like we was kids, man. People born in the early 2000, 2003, 4, 5 Y'all don't remember that, bro. Y'all don't. Y'all, remember. Are. y'all don't remember when Obama was voting. Y'all were listening to kids, but yeah, <laughs> you were listening to kids, but around that y'all, time. y'all were just learning how to speak and talk. My first CD was "Get Rich or Die Trying." Fifty Cent, many men. Mm-hmm. With I, death upon me, that was my favorite CD. Growing, up. I played that bit till it broke. <laughs> and, and it's crazy because. As we all three sit here and talk, we were all born in like different kind of generations, man. But like the time was perfect. Yeah, because Roger, Roger, what year were you born? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. That's in the eighties. Technically, 80s. you can consider the nineties. He grew yeah, up in the nineties. You like me? Cause you grew up eighty nine. I, I got them. I was born in ninety nine. So they yeah. like got them eighty nine, eighty nine, ninety nine. Like, like, you like motherfuckers try to say oh, you're not an eighties baby. Yeah, but like just like my first try to say I'm not the 90s back. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> was with it. But I was still in the yeah, I'm still like learning everything yeah, I learned. I seen everything I seen. Yeah. I was born in '96. Yeah, and but I still kind of seen the same cartoon you seen, same like yeah. all that shit. So like, how the fuck am I not a part of the '90s baby? Yeah, you know, what I be trying to understand like people like you not '90s baby, you born '90s. I like nigga, I literally seen everything you seen. Yeah, I was just younger than you. I've and I ain't, and I'm not thing. and I'm not no dumbass. Like, I know how to pick up shit like yeah. literally music. Too. Like understand like what the fuck. You know how kids be got kids be out here in car seat rapping rapping rap songs mm-hmm. down there. That, remember, I remember Eric doing that. A little brother. Like don't say like lonely. Yeah, Acorn. Like don't say like 
Like people don't even realize, like bro, like it don't matter how young you are. Like if you can remember shit, you can remember shit. Don't don't got them count me out because I wasn't born at the same time you were. Like I'm still around your age, bro. I know what the fuck. Yeah, on. yeah, and man, being born in '96, man, you got a lot of stuff that happened in '96. Mm-hmm. You got Michael Jordan winning the NBA championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, you had a lot of great music released in '96. Uh, I'm pretty sure was Tupac still alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that right time it, right. it, it was the end. That At was, the end? Yeah. Was he, did he yeah. die in 96? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was like 1995. Man, let me find out. Let me Google, let me get, let's Google, yeah, Google right it real now. quick, man. Until Trey finds that. <laughs> bro. Like, 96 was a big year. For real, for real. Yeah, I was seven years. Here's seven years. 96, old. September 13th, 96. September 13th? 96. Man. Hey, hey. <laughs> huh? Ten days, yeah, yeah. I was born, like I said, on September twenty third. Man, right, before, right, right after right. Tupac passed. Yeah, right after Tupac passed, man. Oh, whatever happened. Yeah, whatever. whatever, whatever, whatever he, he might be. He might be. Right, yeah. well, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to get into the conspiracy whatever story on yeah, the first day. Long live Tupac. Tupac. We gonna say that. Long live Tupac. Long live <laughs> Tupac. Rest his soul. Rest man. his soul, man. Yeah, yeah man. Tupac, man. September thirteenth. They need, man, a lot of stuff happened in September, in the month of September. Do you remember? <laughs> September, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bro, all right. Uh, all right, one thing. <laughs> that was, we were singing that in the front of it. Yeah. yeah. So, Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. Y'all know what's crazy about this song and this group. Working with Steve Harvey, I uh, actually got to, got to see in person live. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm. That shit probably was stupid. Yeah, man. In real life. Yeah. You know, they had that on um, Everybody Hates Chris, too. Earth, Wind, and Fire? Yeah, yeah they, he was, they was doing they a did. performance, and he was like, oh, we, we was waiting <laughs> on this, the only black kid here, Chris, and he wasn't here. It was just, man. Yeah. That's a classic show of nobody uh, else. That grew Chris, up bro, in the just, 60s. Bro, I used to really watch Everybody Hate Chris, like, Everybody hate Christian Joel Lopez top two show like top two like shows that's a that's an early two thousands like, baby right there right yeah everybody like, hates all the Chris. cartoon shit was cool but like them them cartoon them the shows you grew up on like Drake and Josh fucking George Lopez motherfucker mm-hmm. everybody hate Christian man hold on let's let's run through the list real quick all right so you already said everybody hates Chris you said George Lopez Drake and Josh Drake and Josh for sure did y'all watch uh, Malcolm in the Middle Malcolm, Malcolm in, in the, the middle. middle bro Nas declassified Nas declassified even Steven. Even Stevens. Zoe 101. I ain't gonna lie. Zoe 101. Hey, hey. Zoe 101. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Proud family. Proud family. Proud family. No, we talking about the we talking about the live no, action. We got a real show. Oh, okay. Live okay. action. Amanda show. Amanda show. Amanda, 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 Amanda. Amanda, Amanda. Y'all forgetting yeah. about one of the All biggest that. ones. All, All that. that. All that. I'm Ken, talking about Ken another and one. Ken and Kel. Ken and Kel. Yes. I'm motherfucking. Uh, the grassy, the grass. I ain't watched the grassy. I watched the grassy. Like, like, I watched that it when that, I got old. That shit always played on TV, yeah. so like, I was just saying because I always played on TV. That was on Nickelodeon. Yeah, that was on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Yeah, what the fuck I just say? <laughs> but yeah, what, what was this? Huh? Uh, that's a raven, bro. You didn't say that's, that's a raven. That's a raven. Fuck. But old boy is thrown off. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's Orlando, his name? Orlando Brown. Yeah, Orlando. Yeah, Orlando Brown. Corey in the house. Corey in the house, man. Smart guy. He's a smart guy. Yeah, sister, 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 sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Martin, Martin, Martin. The Burns Brothers, the Burning yeah, Mac yeah, Show. Yeah, yes, Burns Brothers, Burning, Burning Mac, Mac Show, show bro. I, for, I, for, I be forgetting about Burning Mac Show, show, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, I still watch it to this day, baby girl. <laughs> rest, hey, rest in peace, rest in peace Burning, Burning Mac. Mac. Burning yeah. Mac, like uh, the, one of the real legends ever, man. Really? Look, Steve. When I was working on the Steve Harvey show, this man, cause you know Steve Harvey, he started off with Burning Mac. Uh, it was the, Steve the Harvey, five, Cedric uh, the Entertainer, Cedric Kings, of Kings of Comedy, yeah. bro, and uh, I think there was one more. Uh, uh, fucking uh, DL Hughley. Yeah, 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 DL Hughley. Yeah, 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 DL. Uh, man, he had so many stories about Bernie Mac saying he was the funniest one out of all of them, bro. Bro, Bernie Mac was the goat. Like, yeah. Literally. Yeah, like, Bernie Mac was the fun. Like, Steve man, Harvey said this himself. Was, this man, life was like a fucking, a whole a comedy movie. movie. He, hey, all right, so I'm going to tell you all a story real quick about, <laughs> about what Steve Harvey told us. And, like, I'm standing 10 feet from Steve Harvey hearing him hear the story or tell the story. <laughs> so he's like, they in uh, right before the comedy show, and uh, they smoking cigars in the, in the little break room. Mm-hmm. And this firefighter comes in. 
He's like, hey, y'all put out that uh, cigar. Y'all know y'all not supposed to be smoking in here. And they like, they, uh, Steve Harvey said, Bernie Mac went up there like, <laughs> he couldn't understand. You know how Bernie Mac taught. You really no, no, couldn't. No, no, no. Yeah. Kind of yeah, like yeah, that yeah, train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got your... you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, bro, only Steve Harvey and the group can understand what he was saying. So mm-hmm. they dying laughing while the fireman like, what? What? <laughs> What'd you just say? So Bernie so Bernie Mac and just walked off. And uh, the next time the fireman came in here, he said, Hey, y'all already paid the uh, the the fine that I said that we we're finna give you. He's like, I tried telling you it the first time you came in. We paid the fine in advance. We paid that shit already because we already knew that we couldn't smoke in here. But we we finna smoke in here anyway. We just finna do. We just finna smoke in here and pay the bill. It's all good. We got the money to do that. And that's how we gonna be no money moves a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, man. money yeah, made man. the world go around. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you got enough of this shit, this shit can change how you move. For how? Real. Yeah. Yeah, like this shit brings power. It's freedom. Literally, like financially free. Freedom. Yeah, financially money free, talks. Free, and bullshit walk. And <laughs> with with certain things, like if if you had a mindset, you could break rules. Oh like, yeah, 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 bro. Like I, I like really like life is just like Grand Theft Auto, bro. Yeah, yeah. it's a game. They, that's why they put the shit in front of our face, bro. Like that that game shit, like that shit, real life. Motherfucker think like you ain't gonna die, and respond. Hey man, you never know till it happens. So, right. Like, so like in the end, like bro, like. You can get rich from nothing. When you when you start grand theft auto, you got nothing. You're basic. Yeah. But like you, you, you got start that. from but, basic. But, and then you and then you figure out as much as you play the game, like you figure out how to do this and that. that that's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really life. Like if you're growing up a million on GTA, how the fuck you ain't doing it in real life? That's crazy though that you say that. Like, cause I am from the generation where it first started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like when Tony Hawk and yeah. all that bullshit. Like, bro, San Andreas was like one of the like that shit like. The pinnacle yeah, yeah. start of yeah. GTA. San Andreas like, was like the biggest yeah. GTA. Y'all remember, yeah. y'all, y'all remember Vice City? Vice yes. City. I fuck with Vice City, but like Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. but like San Andreas, like that shit broke the fucking. Yeah, San Andreas was definitely more culturally. It's way more. It's, it's talked about more this day mm. than Vice City is for yeah. sure. It's it definitely considered one of the greatest Grand Theft Autos yeah. video yeah. slash video games period yeah. of all time for sure. I'll just remember him being the game head. Oh it's, yeah, bro. Man. We used to have a PlayStation Two. That bitch had no memory card. We had we leave that bitch on for like two weeks. <laughs> I got my we, 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 we play we playing San Andreas, bro. We don't cut the game, okay? We cut Somebody the game. Stole, you can't say you can't say yeah. shit. So we you got remember that, that house that we was in Valley Forge. Yeah, man. Somebody stole my PlayStation. Look. Everything happens for a reason. Bro, we turn man. that bitch on, that bitch don't go out till we finish our oh, game. That bitch it, and that bitch. It's just, it's just, it ain't even a big place. Like, we, got, we got the slim one at this yeah. point. We never never slim place. Like, yeah. Don't step on the cord. Yeah. Don't, don't even come in the room. Just stay away from the room. Yeah, we, we, know come that. Yeah. we finish what we're doing. We got them turn the TV off. We know the game that. The game's still on. That yeah, that, that the PlayStation's yeah. still on. We... Even yeah. with that N64, bro, I don't give a fuck how much time I've been yeah. there. We playing Grand Theft Auto back there. Y'all better chill. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't save the game. You can't save yeah, the I do that, that noise. Yeah, that that's fan crazy. always automatically. Just but look, imagine, imagine if your PlayStation would have never got stolen. We would have been probably PlayStation heads right now. Really? Mother Honestly. playing Mother playing Xbox right now. Like, well, yeah, I'm on the yeah, Xbox. See, you got the old Xbox. We got, he got the new Xbox. I got the one before that one. Yeah. So, like, we all like, it's just like the school shit. Listen, yeah. 89, 99, 96. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> bro. That's crazy. They work in full circle. Yeah, like, yeah, like life be crazy. Like, how everything be out, but, like, like, everything be, like, falling together. But at the same time, when you pass into the small shit. Mm-hmm. That's why um, when y'all said about different things, it's about making memories. I heard somebody say that. that bro, like, you got to think life is about impacting people. Right. Yeah. Because if you impact somebody that impact somebody else, then it should become, like, a domino effect. Right. And then, like... Like you gotta think about this: the people that come out there, we want them to be better than us, so they can advance the world. Yeah, so like, evolution. Yeah, that's, right. the, that's the evolution. Same, yeah, that's the same shit. And look, so you said impacting people, changing the world, like you said. So, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the reason why I wanted to start this podcast, because, um, you know, working at Amazon, working, you know, with the Steve Harvey Show. And Steve TV, whatever. Even playing football at the University of Alabama, yeah. I was always told that uh, when I talked to people, they really enjoyed my conversation, my presence, mm-hmm. uh, the way I talked to them. You know what I'm saying? The kind of how to articulate like a mom. yeah, just just the the way that I really tried to dive into their lives or dive into what what they were talking about. I paid attention. 
um, and they felt better, and they they would tell me this, you know what I'm saying, and like it made me feel like okay, I'm getting told this by a lot of people, you know what I'm saying. This is not just like a one-off occurrence. Yeah, like people should, are telling me this, this every be the day. Truth. This shit gotta be the truth. Like when I worked at Amazon and when I worked at the Steve Harvey, like when I worked at the Steve Harvey show, I kind of have developed that aspect of my life a little more. So they were lucky, to Libra too, because yeah. people don't even get that type of credit. Why they alive? It's usually when they dead, and they be Bro. like, "Oh, so and so was a big impact." Yeah, like, no, people will tell me that on the spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like crazy. You know you're different. Yeah, and when, when 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 people tell me that, like, I don't brush it off. So that I really absorb that, and I pay, and like, I listen to it, and like, because. One thing that you gotta do on this slide, bro, is you gotta really identify what gift you have to mm-hmm. like really portray to other people. Cause at the end of the day, when we leave here, it's gonna be what like impact you left on the rest of the you know people that are still alive, mm-hmm. um, carrying on your legacy. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be able to develop your gift, and so in in making this podcast and talking to my brother, my 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 roommate slash friend. Slash former brother. teammate, yeah, slash brother. brother, slash friend, you know, all that, man. Like, we able to really dive deep into how, what made us, you know, what we, we what we are currently, you know what I'm saying? We are what we are, yeah, but like, as far as, like, what we do. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, like, and, and that's why I want to be able to, to ask other people, you know, what made you how you are currently, you know what I'm saying? What, what, is, what has been your life experiences that has really brought out the gift what formed you into what you are now? Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I remember in Miami, I actually went to Little Cordon Blue and wanted to go there. And that's how I was able to do that out here. Like how you said transferring? Yeah. You remember I worked at BJ's in Miami. Yeah. And transferred out here. After Subway. To Georgia. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. And that's how, like, when you grow up, you learn about transferring from different places yeah. and moving yeah, from like, different places. It's re- fluid. Like, re- re- like getting relocated and shit. Like, yeah. Like, paying you yeah. to do that shit type shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought, like, people judge you or base, like, you're literally, like, me, I say I'm gumbo because I'm from all around. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, like, in and out of the area, literally. Right. There and not there no more. Right, right. So I got like roots in there where people be like you from Louisiana because I say that yarn and shit all the time. Mm-hmm. Like I just been I was down there for so long and I had friends like that for so long. Like, implanted yeah, that and shit just like natural. rolled off on me naturally. Like so like that shit just come off so smooth. So like why would I change it? Yeah. Right. That's what that's why I been. That's why I like yarn and so like yeah you absorb it. That's how I am <laughs> you with Miami with, with just with my with my with my jits. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, that was a big portion of your life. Yeah. yeah, the main like this. So like, like, why would I get rid of this shit? Because this is a part of me. Like, this is why I came from. This is why I started it. So like, why would I throw this shit away? Mm-hmm. Because like, this shit is a part of me. This shit like formed the, the person I am, who I am today. Right. So like, why stop doing? Why stop speaking the way I'm speaking? Because of how somebody else feel. Hmm. Exactly. But man. Sponges, sponge bottles. Motherfucker sucking this shit in. <laughs> sucking this shit in and putting this shit down on the ground. On mm-hmm. the ground. So now you can hear me. You know what I mean? But look, man. It we wasn't gonna, look. We ain't gonna, had no bad day today. Look, I know not we, a look, bad I, day at I all. know we closing. It's Thursday and, and every, every day a work day. day. I get a pee and yeah. then that bitch almost gone the first day. day. Yeah. 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 Hey, check out my boy Dirk <laughs> Alini. He uh, on iTunes, uh, Apple Music, he on Amazon Prime, TikTok, YouTube for the YouTube hood, YouTube niggas the hood. the scammers. Yeah. Yeah. Audio yeah. Max, SoundCloud, everything you want to find All out. Right. Dirk Alini, spell D- it out for him. D-U-R-K-A-L-I-N-I. Yeah, mm-hmm. look it up, man. The boy got music, bro. And look, we're going to be dropping some more music videos. Of course, man. Uh, look, I just want to appreciate out. anybody that's ever uh, listened to my videos, heard my videos, saw my videos. And listen to this first podcast. Um, it, it, this was fun, man. This it really right. was. This is yeah. a vibe experience. like this. This is not a little audio. Yeah, I, man. You know, I ain't even. You know, this is my first actual podcast, and this yeah. is it's a vibe. It's like, a vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. the first it's one the first of, of, of many. millions, of thousands. Course. Who knows, bro? Look, <laughs> and then look, we'll look back. Then when we started that. And look. And, yeah, and, 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 then when we scratched the surface. Yeah, and it was fun. And, like, whenever you... If you having fun doing what you do, bro, 
that's what that's the path that you really want to follow exactly. for real right like, why would you not want to have fun doing what you love yeah it don't even feel like, like this shit ain't feel like work. work this ain't work this is what we want to do so exactly. this shit like yeah this shit like it's it, it easy yeah it's natural it's it ain't it ain't it ain't no this shit ain't forced easy. this shit ain't forced yeah right. this shit just flowing yeah, man. This is flow like the road. So I appreciate anybody who listened to this, man. Who and, tuned uh, in, man. Appreciate y'all. I swear yeah, to God. And we, and we got plenty of, of more drops to come. Mm-hmm. Um, tomorrow is October 1st, the first of the month. It's hey, the first, first of the month. Get high, get high, get high. And yeah. we already, technically, it's already, it's already the first, first of the it's month. Already, yeah. 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 It's, it's about 12, to be 1 a.m. Yeah. It's 12 yeah. It's yeah. about to be 1 a.m. in Atlanta, Georgia, Eastern Time Zone. In seven hours, I need to be it's up. Friday. So. Man, it's we're going to let my brother go home, man. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. It spilled over a little bit, but it's the first one. It, it I would like to say it was worth it. It really was. That one wood did us good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the wine bottle. Feeling this is the fine. first time yeah. I actually ran through a whole bottle with you in one seven. Feeling yeah. fine, drinking wine. Drinking wine. Yeah. <laughs> no point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, all right, y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed, blessed October and the rest of the uh, 2021. Mm-hmm. We're almost to 2022. We got three more months. Three so months. make the most out of it. Um, Quarter of the year. Live your life. Make October the best month of your life. Because mm-hmm. um, I know that I'm going to try to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I could be a millionaire in, in the month of October, I'm going to do it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Huh? Hey. So, um,. Yeah, man. Love y'all. Hope everybody has a great rest of their evening. Peace and blessings. Yeah. Blessings. Out of here.